Yo, the motherfuckers complaining in my chat. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, do you realize how long? I know y'all are the free noty chat and there's a lot of people here because this stream has been anticipated. But motherfuckers have been bitching for the last 20 minutes on when I'm gonna go live. Dude, it is not easy to fucking to fucking set up this shit. I gotta bring out the table. I gotta get two coolers. I gotta move everything around. I gotta set up my lavalier mic. It ain't fucking, it ain't the easiest thing in the world. I didn't even clean the table. There's still fucking frosting here from fucking winter. From December. God damn it. Is my mic sound fine? Does my mic sound fine before the notey goes out? Oh my God. And is my camera in a good spot? I think I'm centered. I think I'm almost centered. I think that would be centered. I'm basically centered now. Does it look good? It looks fine? Okay. God damn, dude. <laughs> Joe's gonna get pissed drunk? I don't think I'm gonna get pissed drunk. This will be interesting to see how this tier list goes. Or not tier list, this taste test. But, I'm, dude, I'm only, I'm only drinking a sip of every one, but it's like 38 different sips. And I'm probably gonna have to re-sip to compare... And that's going to be a problem. <coughs> oh my god. I accidentally made JoJo mad. Is he live right now? What'd you do? Yo! Oh my god! Hello, Nodi chat! Hello, everybody flooding in! How is everybody doing on this fan-fucking-tastic Saturday? How are y'all doing today? It's my birthday. Happy birthday. What about the camera? Dude, my camera's normal. Chat, this is a very special day. I have been looking forward. Well, I've been planning, not looking forward, right? It's not like this isn't a vacation, but I've been planning out this stream for a while, right? Hence why I'm wearing the lavalier mic. Hence why I'm sitting fucking six feet away from my camera. What are we doing today, chat? You're an alcoholic. I'm not an alcoholic. This is, a yo. Yo, this is not, no, I'm not an alcoholic. No, no. Uh, I'm doing a taste test. This is an experiment. This is not me being an alcoholic. Can you lower the quality? You want me to lower the quality? Why the fuck would you want, it's 1 p.m. Yeah, on a Saturday and I'm taste testing. Okay, For, yo, my chat's already judging me. Meanwhile, my whole chat already told me to do this. This is very inspiring. Bro, it, <clears throat> Y'all are pissing me off. Y'all are already pissing me off. I'm, I'm gonna move on. All right, I'm gonna do the intro for YouTube. Everybody say hi, YouTube, while I'm doing this. Oh, hello, YouTube. <laughs> oh, fuck, shit's falling down. Oh, it's the Deadpool. Shit. Oh, hello, YouTube viewers. I didn't see you there. How, how, I don't know how to intro to a YouTube video. I've never done that. All right, let's, let's do a retake. Why, hello there. <laughs> My name's Joe Barnalozzi, and I'm going to be doing uh, an alcohol taste test. No, that's such a shitty intro. Everybody rewind, everybody rewind. Yo, keep spamming high YouTube. Yeah, let's act like this is the first take. Hello there. Oh my God. Okay, everybody, the people that watch me on YouTube know I don't do fucking intros. This is what we're doing today, okay? But let's give a PSA here. This is for educational purposes only. This is for Twitch chat and the YouTube viewers. It's for educational purposes only. This is gonna be a taste test. This is an experiment, okay? This is for experimental purposes and taste test purposes only. I am an alcohol critic, okay? A self-proclaimed professional alcohol critic. I can determine which alcohol is the is the best amongst many different types of alcohols, okay? So that's what we're doing today. We're doing an alcohol critique, right? I have 38, I believe, different alcohols, light alcohols to be specific, uh, ranging from just different types of beer to seltzers to maybe even specialty items like Four Locos or like root beer alcohol, stuff like that, beatboxes. We got a bunch of things, right? Um... And today, we're going to be doing a taste test of them, and I'm going to be ranking them 
on the best five and the worst five. Now, you might be asking yourself, Joe, why wouldn't you just do a tier list, right? Tier list is what everybody's doing these days. Because tier lists are kind of fucking cringe when you're doing this. And let me explain, right? If I'm doing a tier list of the different alcohols, I'm rating the alcohol on the tier list. I'm just rating it A through F or S through F, right? That's not a competition. While they may be competing on the tier list, I'm rating it off of the tier list credentials. The way that I'm doing it, we're going to be determining the best and the worst. The five best and the five worst. That's all that matters. Nobody gives a shit about the middle of the road motherfuckers, the C tiers. So for that reason, we're going to be doing the best and the worst. Now, I know my audience on Twitch and YouTube might have a rough time visualizing where I'm going to put the best and the worst, right? I'm telling you right now, I'm going to be putting the best on this side and the worst on this side. But that also doesn't help because 30 minutes into the stream, I'm going to have some jerk off come into my stream and say, Wait, which side, which, which side is the best? Wh which side is the worst? So... I brought visual representations to aid my chat, right? I looked on Amazon <coughs> for green and red signs uh, in which I could find none. So um, we're actually going to be using uh, the Mythbusters Collection 1, a fire collection, to represent the best, right? It's going to be there four discs, by the way. If anybody wants to buy this after stream, let me know. Um... Four discs, collection one, full set, right, of Mythbusters, of Mythbusters season one. Anyways, uh, the worst will be Chicken Little. Now, I understand that some people may be upset by the fact that I'm making Chicken Little the representation of the worst alcohols. Um, however, uh, Chicken Little is a shit movie. We know it's a shit movie. Uh, all he does is bitch about how the sky is falling. Uh, he's a pussy little chicken fuck. Uh, and I would curb stop him into the ground, uh, in about, yay, 0.5 seconds, right? He's a loser, right? Chicken Little is a dickhead. Uh, he bitches, he cries wolf, and then the sky actually starts falling. Who would have guessed it? Um, and he was right all along, right? Anyways, also, if you're, if you're realizing that my table's a little bit dirty, uh, this is also the table from, uh, the gingerbread, uh, building stream that I did with my girlfriend, my editor wants to throw in a little clip of that. Uh, I have not washed it. Now, before people say, ew, uh, it's a fucking table. When was the last time y'all washed a table? Never. Uh, I'm not eating directly off the table because I'm not a little gremlin. Um, I'm drinking alcohol that is housed in a can or a bottle. Uh, it will not be making contact with the table in any which way, uh, shape, or form. Uh, so, yes, here we go with the ills already. Right? Does that make sense, though, chat? We're going to be doing the best, represented by Mythbusters Collection 1, and the worst, represented by Chicken Little, okay? The best will be as follows. Best, second best, third, fourth, fifth, and then fifth worst, fourth worst, third worst, second worst, and worst, right? So best on the, on, well, my left, your right, and then worst this way. Does that make sense? Can we begin? Let me get a let me get a little sip here. I do have water uh, to give myself kind of a cleanser because if I'm drinking 38 different types of alcohol uh, over and over, uh, they're gonna get it. They're kind of gonna get muddled, um, so that will be a pain in the ass right away. Thank you for the five gifteds, by the way. Dub in the chat for that. Mullet Daddy Taz Z Copes Burrito Panda Indian for the five gifteds. Spring Avalanche Jack Henry for the sub. If I do miss Jonas today, I am sorry, but this is more of a special stream, so I'm going to be kind of focused on what I'm doing more than normal. <coughs> Josh for the three minutes. Thoughts on Juice World? His music's all right. Nachio XX Kitty. Uh, seriously, Indian Doodle, Adelette, Dairy, and Amelia for the sub. Nova for the sub. T Brisha for the sub. Dominator for the three. Uh, you should have a puke bucket. I'm not going to get that drunk. You're uh, crazy if you think I'm getting that drunk. Uh, I'm literally tasting them. Uh, will I get a bit tipsy? Yes, because I'm going to be sipping 38 different alcohols probably twice each time. Uh, but I'm not getting pissed drunk. Phantom for the 300 bitties. Uh, my girlfriend texted me. Let's see what Brooke said, chat. She said, love you, have a good stream. Oh, what a nice girlfriend. Uh, Adeline for the sub right away for the 1,000 bitties. Swishy for the 300 bitties. All right. Now, are y'all ready to get into this? By the way, I did bring a breathalyzer. Now, 
Uh, throughout this stream, I will be using the breathalyzer. Um, I don't know how often, whenever I feel like using it. You're high. I'm not high. Uh, also, for the people that are... This, this is also to tell my chat that I'm not drunk, right? Because the second one of the drinks touches my mouth, my chat will proclaim that I am wasted. That I am so drunk that I'm incoherent. Uh, and I'm un- I'm unfucking uh, readable. Uh, you can't understand what I'm saying. Yes, they're already saying I'm drunk right now before I have even uh, opened any of the alcohols. I do have two coolers next to me. Let's get in. I'm not going to be doing this in any uh, pertaining order. Um, just kind of whatever I, I grab out of it because at the end of the day, we're going to review all of them. Also, once these are filled, right, the first 10 alcohols will fall in between the, the five worst and the five best, just because those slots are gonna be open. But once I get to the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th alcohol, right? 15th drink, some are gonna be getting knocked out. Either that drink that I'm drinking won't be the five best or the five worst, or it will knock one out and then I'll have to maneuver them around. Does that make sense? It's pretty simple, but I have to explain it uh, because for some reason there's always that one chatter uh, that doesn't recognize uh, any any logic in terms of how I'm rating something. Uh, and they're lost the entire time. All right, let's begin. I feel like we should start with like a classic for the first one. I did only do um, alcohols that are kind of either re not regional, like country based, like United States, like they're in the US or something that everybody knows. I didn't do any local IPAs. So before we get into this, and I have that one chatter telling me, oh, you have to try this melon-flavored IPA that we have down in Kansas. Uh, I don't give a fuck about your stupid-ass IPA. Uh, we're not rating that because nobody knows what the fuck that dumbass IPA is. Okay, let's begin. Little mystery pick. What's the first one? Miller Lite. Miller Lite, what a start-off. What a start-off. Keep in mind, chat, you are allowed to rate these. Uh, keep in mind also though, that if you are not of age, please do not rate these because that would make no sense. But if you guys would like to rate it on a scale of one to 10 or a W or an L, however your rating system works, uh, that is fine by me. I might give each of them a scaled rating of one to 10, but the reason I'm kind of hesitant on that is because 30 alcohols in, I might rate something higher than something I started out with but I might put that starter higher than the other, right? So keep in mind that my ratings are kind of convoluted, but realistically, the ranking of five best, five worst is all that matters, right? Let's pop in here with a, a nice old Miller Lite, right? A light beer, I believe four point something percent. I might say it on the can. Too lazy to read though. Let's give it a sip. I like Miller Lite, right? I don't dislike Miller Lite. I think Miller Lite's a, a decent beer. If I go to a bar, uh, I am 21 years of age, by the way. This is kind of obvious, seeing that I'm doing an alcohol tier list. Um, I might order a Miller Draft, right? It's, it is one of... I'm drunk. Yeah, I'm so drunk, chat. I'm so... Fucking twitching out. Had one sip. Had one sip, right? All right. Miller Lite, though, it's not bad. I do enjoy it. Um... I will say that there are better beers, and this might even be better on draft, but for the sake of the tier list, I do have to rate them on the bottle. Uh, another key factor in my rating uh, is that I'm going to be rating not only on taste, right? Because if I'm only rating on taste, uh, beer is never going to win, ever, right? Uh, because obviously the sweet fucking 35 grams of sugar drinks are going to taste better than a Miller Lite. Right. So I have to keep in mind drinkability. Those are going to be the factors, right? Taste, drinkability, and then just if I if I like if I like the vibe of it, whether or not it's you know, I might dock some points if it's a really unhealthy alcohol. To be fair though, none of these are really gonna be that healthy, but some of them are going to be better than others, seeing that like a four loco might not be, you know, the best taste. Uh, tasting alcohol or healthiest alcohol, right? So it's going to be measured on a few factors outside of taste, um, but mainly taste too. I'd give Miller on a scale of beers. I'm going to keep it on the best, right? It's going to move over to the Mythbusters. 
Cheney Heineman and Adam Savage. W in the chat for Miller Lite. Congratulations. You're the only beer, the only alcohol uh, in this competition, and you're doing amazing thus far. Um, I'd give it like an 8 out of 10, 8.2 uh, for beers. For, for light alcohol in general, maybe like a 7.3. Uh, but amongst amongst light beers, I do enjoy a Miller Lite. Number two. Oh, wow. Miller... Uh, wow, I did not even mean to grab the other Miller. Miller High Life. I have had one of these beers ever uh, at a frat party when a guy handed it to me. And I was a bit hesitant uh, seeing that he it was opened already. Uh, and I could have been drugged, right? Uh, however, I drank out of it, uh, and I do remember that night. So, thankfully, I was not drugged by some random frat guy. Um, but in, keep in mind, uh, when you do go to a frat party, uh, in your life, do not drink, uh, opened alcohols. Uh, that is a bad idea, especially if you're a woman. Anyways, Miller High Life. Miller High Life is better. Uh, fractionally. See, here's the other issue is, is I'm going to forget how good that one was. And so I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to taste test each like 30 fucking times. Miller High Life is, is not bad, right? I would actually say it's a bit better. Uh, I don't know what's different about it. It just says the champagne of beers, kind of a cringe slogan. Uh. We're going to have a few of those today, by the way. Um... What do I rate this out of 10, chat? What are we giving Miller High Life? See, here's the problem is I'm going to forget what I gave it. It's better. It's better than that. I'm going to give it an 8.3. It's fractionally better. I would say this: the Miller's still good, but Miller High Life is a better beer. It, may, it might have a less drinkability factor, seeing that uh, it is not a light beer, but... Oh my god, dude. What are we going to do about Mythbusters? It's getting blocked. Should we put the Mythbusters up here? No, because then it's blocked. Okay, you'll just know. It's a placeholder. It's a placeholder. We'll know. All right. Number three. Let's get into it. Do a field test on yourself. <laughs> That's why I have the breathalyzer. Dude, I'll do a field. After we're done, if I move the table, I'll do like a field test. All right. Oh, wait. Number three. Twisted tea. Uh, the kidney stone alcohol. Uh, it is tea and alcohol. Uh, Tweez, uh, original flavor. Uh, Twisted Tea, right? A sweet alcohol, pretty unhealthy, 5% alcohol. Higher than I believe both of those. Maybe not Miller High Life. Uh, if you like, like, le if you like lemon, lemon, lemonade slash tea, you like the half and half, you like just base fucking sweet teas, this is pretty good. That sounds nasty as fuck, Twisted Tea. I swear to God, there's a fly in front of me. I'm going to freak the fuck out. Let me compose myself. Let me compose myself. I apologize. Anyways. um, <clears throat> He's already drunk. I'm not drunk. Dude, I've had... It would take like 10 minutes for me to even feel it if I drank it. Twisted tea. Uh, made and brewed with real tea. And then they have a bunch of selfies of people on the back. Uh, it's good. I've had many of these, but I would never drink more than, like, two at one sitting. Uh, because they are absurdly sweet. They're better in taste than both of those. Uh, obviously, because it's more appealing sugar-wise. But, um... I might slide it, I might slide it in front of the Miller. Right? Because if you were going to offer me one of these, I might take a twee. But I would, I would rather have the Miller High Life. So we're going to go that, right? Miller High Life is the best out of these three. He's slurring his words. Okay, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Now, I've never had this. Do any of y'all know what the fuck this is? Uh, I went to a liquor store. Uh, it is a very, a very thick can. Kind of looks like uh, beans. Uh, it is Foster's Alcohol. Uh, I see it everywhere. It is apparently an Australian beer. 
Uh, I had to Google it. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't really know how it's gonna taste. Uh, it, the can is very off-putting though, because it kind of looks like it would have food inside of it rather than a drink. Uh, it was also almost impossible to fucking open. Uh, smells like piss. All right, let's give it a go. I'm, I'm not, I'm not expecting much from Foster's. You should be off-putting. You should be off-putting. What the fuck does that mean? <sighs> no. Uh, it's a bit sour. <laughs> like the remnants of a warhead. And I don't know why. Ooh, it's really sour. Why is it sour? Dude, I should stop comparing them because I'm only four in. Yeah, it's sour. Why is it sour? Is it bad? Or do they want it to taste like that? And this is 25 ounces. Who the fuck is grabbing this? Yo, Foster's beer all the way at the bottom tier right now. All right. Now we're into the, maybe one of the most popular contenders here. The good old American 4th of July. 4th of July, light the fireworks. Fucking smearing off ice. Red, white, and blue. I don't know. It's not a goddamn twist off. All right, we got to break it out. Is it a twist off? It's a twist off. It's a twist off. We got it. Didn't think it was a twist off. Some of these aren't, which is going to be a pain in the ass. But, all right. Uh, this was the first alcohol I ever got drunk on. <coughs> Quick story time. Uh, I drank um, about five of these the first time I ever got drunk. Um, was it in the Bahamas? No, it was in St. Martin. And I drank like five of these. Uh, and I laid in the sand and I didn't put sunscreen on and my eyes got so sunburnt because I kind of passed out in the, on the beach um, that when I would blink, it would hurt for the next three days. Uh, so I'm not very fond of these. They don't really bring me good memories. <coughs> uh, coupled with the fact that every other time I've dragged them, uh, I feel like shit the next day because they're like 40, 40 grams of sugar, uh, like per one. Uh, well, this is a pretty big bottle, but even the small bottles, this is probably like 100 grams of sugar. Uh, they're good. They're a little festive. If you're on the 4th of July, I'll drink them. Uh, there was one night I drank 15. Um, that was not a good night. Uh, I, I, why is bro speaking weird? I'm not speaking weird. I'm commentating. 15? Yeah, I made a pyramid. It was over like a six hour span. It's so good though. Like it's, it's so good. Oh my god. Like, I don't like the memories, but it tastes like... You know the, the ice cream pops you get at the beach? The rocket pops you get at the beach? Imagine you melted it and then cooled it. And you just drank the juice. That's what this tastes like. Like, it has no, no inkling of alcohol in it. Which is also pretty dangerous. Um, but it's so good. 4.5% alcohol. It also kind of tastes like, you know those little blue, those little blue plasticky Kool-Aid things that we would get as kids and add that plastic twist top? It tastes like that. Like almost, almost identical. Why did you get such big bottles? Okay, if y'all want to know why I got uh, Tall Boys, it's because Tall Boys are cheaper than a six pack. You can't individually buy, hold up. Some of them didn't come in tall boys, right? You can't individually buy like a blue moon tall boy. So I had to buy a small bottle or I had to buy a six pack, but a six pack's like 12 bucks. Um, so if I just buy a bunch of tall boys, it's like $3 each one. And I save money. Uh, mental math. Guess how much I spent on all this alcohol. We did that the other day. That's whack. We can get smaller cans where I live. We can't. I went to like five different liquor stores. 
Uh, I spent like two, 253, probably like 300, because I had to buy six packs of like six different ones. Happy Dads, I had to buy a 24 case. I'm going to have some choice words for fucking Happy Dad when we get to their fucking shit ass shit, okay? And I'm not trying every goddamn flavor of the Happy Dads either. Same thing with the Smirnoff Ice. I'm trying this and one other fucking one. I'm not doing every goddamn flavor because fuck that shit. I'm going to try the flavor I want to try and I'm going to rate the whole alcohol there. Somebody said, why is quality so shit? Is the quality bad, chat? The mic should be fine. Same with the camera. It's the camera I normally use. Anyways. Uh, I might put it under Miller. It's still top five. Uh, even though we're not even on um, like 10 yet, it's still making top five because um, it tastes good. But I would not... Any, I would never want to drink more than one of those for the rest of my life. Um, so for that reason, it will be under the Miller, even though it tastes better than the Miller. Uh, I would I would be much more happy drinking like three of these than three of these. Coors Light. Ow, dude, I need to get nails. Motherfucker. Coors Light only, uh, Coors Light only tastes good, um, if it's really cold. Uh, and thankfully, I have two coolers with me. Um, <clears throat> obviously no beer tastes good warm, but Coors Light is one of the worst beers warm, uh, that I've ever had. The only one that tops that is Corona. Uh, Corona warm is, like, actually, I've drank my own piss twice. Uh, it's like drinking your own piss. Uh, but this is pretty good. Um, cold, so, I, you know, I have high expectations. It really tastes like nothing. Um, it, you get a little yeasty flavor and it's carbonated. Dude, my fucking finger is bleeding from opening the, these cans. I injured myself already. Jesus Christ. All right. It really tastes like nothing. Um, but that's what's good about it, is the fact that it's a light beer. Uh, it doesn't have a, an overly yeasty taste. Uh, and it's actually pretty good. Bro's so drunk he doesn't even know what he's doing. What the fuck are you talking about? You're a liberal sissy. I'm a liberal sissy for drinking a Coors. You're not in Squid Games, damn. What are y'all talking about? You're slurring your words. No, I'm not. Oh my god, dude. I'm literally bleeding now. Dude, F in the chat for my fucking finger. Wow, dude. That's rough. All right. Get, get back to the taste test. Coors Light's pretty good. I didn't rate any of the other ones. I'm already off the rating system. Uh, but I would rate this pretty highly in terms of drinkability. Taste is almost non-existent. Um, so I can't really give it anything there. It's more closer to water than it is an alcohol. Uh, so realistically, I'm, I'm still going to put it above Smirnoff Ice because I really can't drink more than one of these. So I have to factor that in. So now we have our, our base top five, uh, that we have to move down. Uh, I would say Coors is better, but worse than Miller Lite Twee and Miller High Life. Uh, Rip Finger... I don't know why they, you, you know, I'm just going to say this is bad marketing because I was trying to show the can. Uh, you know, you should maybe put uh, the text font a little fucking smaller, right? So if I want to read the alcohol, I don't have to turn the entire fucking can around to be able to read this thing, you fucking idiots. Whoever whoever made this goddamn can should be fired. Heineken. That's what it says. Even though y'all can't, y'all read eeny, eeny, Heineken. I hate Heineken's. <laughs> so, you know, you know, and now I'm hating Heineken even more. And now, and now I'm hating, and now I'm on the fucking, I'm on that fucking boof pack for this shit. Because I didn't even shake that. Dude, this is why I brought a towel, because I'm fucking prepared. Because I'm a fucking master when it comes to being prepared for, for spillages on stream. God damn it. Dude, it's still fizzing. Why is it that fizzy? Oh my god. Okay. Heineken. 
Most people I know do not like this beer uh, as well as me. I am not a fan of this. Dude, it's like... It's it's so bad. I don't know what... It has this after... you, you As you're sipping it, you're like, it's not that bad, right? It tastes like a regular beer. And then as you swallow, it gets like a hint of like battery acid. Uh, like you kind of soaked... Like imagine you put like batteries... Like, like, a, like rusty batteries in water for like a few days and then mixed it with like regular beer. And it smells the worst. Like no beer smells good. This smells awful. Like on a beach, I, I can handle these because it's more of a beachy drink. But just sitting here in my own room drinking this, uh, I fucking hate it. Uh, I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna move it above Foster's. Uh, cause it's still better than Foster's. Uh, but, yeah, no, it's gross. It's, it's fucking bad. Uh, oh my god. Yo, should we, I, like, when should we do a breathalyzer? I think every ten. Because then we'll do about four. Every ten we'll do a breathalyzer. Now, I'm only, I'm only seven in. I think I gotta get three more. Why are there so many beers on this side? I bought so many light alcohols. What the fuck? All right. Bud Light Lime. I've never had this. <coughs> uh, brewed with real lime peels. I'm assuming it's literally just Bud Light with lime. Uh, and so it's literally just as if they took their regular drink and put like a little spritzer of lime in it. Somebody said recap. Oh, brother. Best alcohols to worst alcohols. Top five, bottom five. Jesus. Oh my God, I'm worried it's going to explode. No, we're good. It's not Heineken. That's a dub. Okay. Uh, somebody said not the liberal drink. This technically wouldn't be the liberal drink. That'll be the, the blue regular Bud Light. I like it. I like it. it. It reminds me of a Corona with a lime in it. Uh, and I think I'm only saying that because it has a hint of lime and it tastes like beer. Uh, it's still worse. I, I enjoy it, but it's still worse than a Smirnoff Ice. I don't think this... I think this will eventually just get kicked off the board in its entirety. In its entirety. Um... But for right now, it's bottom five. I think once we get more alcohols in, I think I'll just end up moving this off the table. Uh, but for right now, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be bottom five, but the third worst out of the selection of drinks that we've had. All right, dude. Let me actually grab a different one here. Actually, you know, since we already have the twee, we'll go twee half and half. Uh, the difference here, uh, I don't. I, I said I didn't want to do different types of alcohols. Uh, I didn't want to do, like, fucking every flavor of Truly, every flavor of White Claw. But with Tweez, it's a bit different because this is literally just an entirely different thing. Uh, it's uh, Twisted Tea half and half. Uh, so it's half lemonade and half tea uh, versus uh, just tea. I think these actually have more sugar than the regular ones. Um, but I don't know for sure. Twee means twisted tea? Yeah. These are better. I'm going to compare these. Because if this one's... If this one's better than this one, I'm just going to slide everything down. That has no alcohol in it. Yo, whoever told you that twisted teas are alcohol-free is trying to get you arrested for underage drinking. You're... Do not... These have alcohol in them. This one's better. It's sweeter and it's more lemony. So this now goes to bottom four. 
and these slide down. I think that's actually a pretty good setup right now. Pretty fair as well. Miller High Life. Dude, maybe Miller High Life might be worse than, than the Lemonade Twee. Yeah. I'll go there. We'll do that. Is that fair, chat? I think that's pretty fair. Do the breathalyzer. Let me do one more and then I'll do the breathalyzer. I think that's fair, though. I'm going to drink water real quick to fucking cleanse my tastes. That's blasphemy. I think it's pretty good. Just because I don't want to have... Ugh. Like, I feel like I'm going to get flamed by my YouTube chat. Or my YouTube, uh, like, audience if I have Twee in the top for uh, 38 different light alcohols. Like, if I ranked Twisted Tea half and half the best light alcohol... I think that's pretty rough, but we also have more things that I think will be better than that. Uh, so we'll see as we go. White Claw. Uh, the only flavor of White Claw that I will be tasting today. Because uh, I'm not going to be sitting here trying the 38 different fucking flavors that they have. Uh, White Claw Mango. Uh, yeah, hoorah! White Claw Summer, right? No laws when you're drinking claws. Fuck. Uh, I don't like most flavors of White Claws. Uh, I've had White Claws. I will drink them. But I think they're too fizzy. And I like fizz. I like carbonation. Uh, and they're also just a bit unflavorful. They smell amazing, though. It, it, it's, remi it's, it's reminding me of sparkling water. Uh, and with just some some flavoring inside like literally just alcohol alcohol spiked sparkling flavored water that's what that's what white claw tastes like i gotta compare it to the cores no all right it's not bad but i i think it's better than the smirnoff ice uh, just because of how sweet this is. Uh, but I think this is our base. Oop. This is our base top five, bottom five that we're going to be going off of for right now. Let's do a little quick breathalyzer test. Uh, cause we're 10 in, uh, and I said 10 in, we would do, uh, one each. I feel like I might be at nothing though. Just because like, has it been long enough for the alcohol to hit my system? How long does it take for alcohol to hit your system? I hate how it tells me the temperature here. <laughs> I would guess like every 10 minutes you feel the alcohol well I mean I've been live for 38 minutes so I mean realistically it would probably be like these have hit my system but it also just does it based off your breath hold up .07 I could still drive bitch I can still operate a moving vehicle as per the U.S. government. All right. It says, hi, it's blinking red. 0 0.07. So I'm still on the, the legal limit is 0 0.08. Wow, I'm actually surprised I'm already at 0 0.07. Wow, that might not be good, dude. If we're getting through 40 and I'm already at 0 0.07, then mathematically, 7, 14, 21. Oh, God. Oh, God. I might need... <laughs> I might need... I might need to slow down here. By the end of this tier list, I might be I might be not able to fucking walk. All right, whatever. Next one. Yingling, one of my favorites. I do enjoy a nice Yingling. Um, I'm going to be kind of biased here. Uh, for the reasoning that I order Yingling draft uh, almost every time I order a drink. The first drink I get at a bar... Uh, would be a Yingling Draft. Um, I've never had Yingling in a can, though. And Draft and can are different. And since we're rating off can, this might be worse. All right. Yingling Traditional Lager. What, what, nat like, what country is this beer from? 
America's oldest brewery. Yingling is an American brewery. I didn't know that. I thought it would have been like German. It's good. I mean, like, it's really hard. I'm going to keep it real, right? As, as, a, as a, a genuine streamer, it's pretty fucking hard to uh, decipher the difference between beers. Uh, you can, but they're not, they're fractionally different, right? Like, if you blindfolded me and you made me drink a Miller Lite and a Yingling, I'm going to be able to decipher which one, but probably with like an 80% accuracy. Like, there's a 20% chance that I'll just not know. Uh, but Yingling is pretty good. Is this going on YouTube? It is. You can say hi, YouTube, if you want. I don't know why the music stopped. It's just like a pause way. All right, there we go. Fucking annoying, dude. All right. Do y'all want the music on or no? I think we should have the music on. Just so it fills the background. Yes? Okay, word. Um, uh, where do we want to put Yang Lang? It's a thicker beer. It's less drinkable than the other beers, right? Uh, Yingling Lager, right, which would make it somewhat different from like a, a light alcohol or a light beer. Uh, it's pretty thick. Uh, and so when I do go and I drink these, I'll order one because I like, I like the taste of it. And then I'd probably order something else. But I would still say I enjoy it more than Coors Light. Um, I think the taste is better than Miller, but I would drink more Millers. So I'm going to put Yingling above Coors Light. Now, what should we do with the alcohols that are not top five or bottom five? Should I just put them off screen? Or like, I'm going to just put them over here because I have a, a space off screen. Yeah, we'll just do that. And then I'll go over all the alcohols that we rated. We'll just move it off screen. Just because that's way too many to have on. Like, I couldn't even line up all 38 of them. Yeah, we'll just put it on the side. Uh, so right now, this is our this is our base list. Twee on top. And then on bottom, we still have Foster's. The Australian beer. Next, we have Stella. How the fuck do you say... How the fuck do you say this, chat? Stella Artois? Stella Artois? Artois? I've never had this beer. Uh, I've seen it at every liquor store I have ever been to. Artois. Stella, Stella Artois. Oh, wow. You just sound like a fucking pussy. <laughs> what are you drinking? I'm having a Miller Lite. What about you? A Stella Artois. <laughs> like, stop trying to be fancy on me now. Trying to be all fucking, trying to be all fucking extravagant. Fucking drinking a Stella Artois. It better fucking live up to the goddamn name. Is this a Paris beer? It sounds French. Is this a French beer? It was apparently made in 1366. Premium lager. And then they have a scanned QR code. Yeah, maybe three people have scanned that ever. It. The ice just fell. It's Belgian. Oh, Stella Artois. Let's give it a go. Ooh. It smells weird, but it tastes fine. What about Corona? I have other alcohols. We will be doing Corona as well. Corona Extra. I didn't get, like, other other versions of Corona. Oh, it's not top five. I don't know if it's bottom five. Because I think it's better. I think it's... Oh. It might... No, it's not as good as a White Claw. It's not as good as a White Claw. So it will replace White Claw. And it's worse than the Bud Light Lime. Yes. Does that work? Yes, that makes perfect sense. Because I have to move the best one out of the worst five out. 
Um, and so Stella will be kind of middle of the road worst. It's not bad. Like, keep in mind, I'm saying these are the worst ones. But, like, dude, I have ice under my shirt. Jesus Christ. If you handed me, like, if you handed me, like, any of these, I would probably drink them. The only two that I might decline, right? I'll let you know. But the only two that I might be like, fuck that shit, are Heineken and, and fucking Foster's. But it, theoretically, and here's another key factor, chat. Should we factor this in? Uh, as I get more drunk, uh, everything's going to start to taste better. Uh, and I'm already kind of recognizing that. And so I'm trying to keep that in mind. That uh, as I get more uh, tipsy, everything is going to appear uh, better than it previously was. Um, so I'll keep that in mind. But... I don't think it'll affect us too much. Arnold Palmer spiked. 100 calories per 12 ounce. This is the half and half light version. Um, which is half iced tea, half lemonade. Uh, a lot of people like the based Arnold Palmer's. Yeah, a lot of people are going to say dub. Because based like non-alcoholic Arnold Palmer... Like, half and half is actually pretty fucking good. Um, but that's just, like, if you're a fan of, of half and half lemonade iced tea. Wow. It's pretty good. Yeah, I know. What a shocker, chat. We got we got Yingling knocked out of the tourney. At least it's not bottom five. Still a great beer. Arnold Palmer spiked. Wow, fantastic work. Let's clap it up. Let's clap it up for Arnold Palmer. Arnold Palmer spiked. Fantastic job out there. Got the little guy golfing. Not little guy. He's like fucking 60 in the photo. Got the dude golfing on the photo. I feel like a true champ drinking this drink. Sponsor me. Arnold Palmer spiked. It's really good, actually. I've had, like, one of these. It's just smooth. Uh, it's not overpowering. It tastes less sweet than the Twee. Uh, and that's why I think it's more drinkable. Because uh, it still has some of the flavors of the half and half Twee. But it's, it's more refreshing. Wow, dude. We're, like, not even halfway. I'm like... <laughs> We're, like, not even halfway. I'm starting to realize how much of a challenge this is going to be. Not even for, like, necessarily how drunk I'm going to get. Because I don't think I'm going to get that drunk because I'm, like, sipping them. But, like, dude, just the sheer amount of liquid that I'm going to be consuming within the next hour is, like... And it's... And it's I'm drinking, like, chat. Y'all got to realize, like, they tell you not to mix alcohols. I'm trying 38 different types of light alcohol. Like, okay, now we're on Natty Light. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. Natty Light. I think the only beer that I might have forgotten is Bush is Bush Light. Uh, and some people might be upset about that. Uh, but to that, I'm going to say nobody drinks that whack-ass beer. Uh, so I don't give a fuck. Uh, oh, my God. Okay. Natty Light. What the fuck we want to give Natty Light? I haven't even tried it. I've never had Natty Light. 25-ounce beer here. Ugh. Ooh, very fizzy. Do you have a bourbon or is that not, not light alcohol? Bourbon would not be light alcohol. Uh, technically. Bourbon would be hard alcohol. What percentage is bourbon? Like 35, 40%? Yeah, pretty high. I, I thought about doing like a celebrity. Would y'all want me to do that next? Like a celebrity alcohol tier list? Because this right now... Light alcohols is easy to do. Hard alcohols, there's just too many. But I could do Celebrity. Like, I could do The Rocks, Terramata Tequila. I could do, like, Snoop Dogg's Wine. Uh, shit like that. Because there's, like, a bunch of celebrities that have alcohol. And so then I would be able to compile, like, 15 or 20 of those. <coughs> Instead of having to go out and buy literally a handle of every hard alcohol. It's not bad, but it's not special. Like, it's better than that. But I'm literally, I'm still, I'm going to keep it. 
I'm gonna keep it off screen. Just because I don't think that it matches either of them. It's worse than the Miller, because that's what I immediately do, right? The first things I have to compare are these two, right? If it's better than a Smirnoff Ice, then it's not bottom five. If it's worse than a Miller Lite, then it can't be top five, right? Because these are the, and if it, if it's worse than one of these, then I have to go into this category. If it's better, then I have to go in here. It's, it's neither. It's all right. It's an okay beer. Like, I would rate it like a fucking six and a half, seven out of ten. It's nothing special. Pabst Blue Ribbon. Pretty sure this is the beer that they drink in South Park. Outside of that, I have never seen this beer uh, in my life. Uh, so I have no idea uh, what it tastes like. Uh, established in Milwaukee. Where the fuck is Milwaukee? Uh, is that in the U.S.? I feel like that's Missouri, Milwaukee, maybe Illinois, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I don't know. Who gives a fuck? Smells like piss, like every other beer. I gotta stop smelling them. It's slightly worse than a Miller Lite. It's not bad. Uh, it's Blue Ribbon is a frat boy household drink. I would disagree. I would. Well, I mean, it depends what state you live in. I think that also is a key factor. Like in in y'all state, what would you say is the most popular beer? Like in New Jersey, if I'm at a frat, most people beer wise are going to be drinking Millers. They're going to be drinking Miller, Miller Lite, Miller High Life. Maybe like Mick Ultra, but that's nuts, right? Bud Light, I feel like that's a Southern thing. Like Bud Light, I feel like people in the South are drinking a lot of Bud Lights. Bush Light, Bud Light, a lot of Bud Lights. So, I mean, we'll see what happens when we get to the Bud Light. Yo, eggs up for the fucking raid, W raid. Let me go through some donos. Herma, er, Hermo, Ava, Scribs uh, for the sub, Ava for the 300 biddies, Luke for the three, uh, 500 biddies, Baby for the sub. Luke for the thousand biddies, Hoppin for the three hundred biddies, your local goat for the sub, tags for the four, uh, three, Tito for the sub, uh, tags for the three, Salty, Twisty, Ruben, Kai, Jaden, Koya, Zerk, Billo, Dark, Gunner, and b for the subs. Oh. And Chicken Little for the three hundred biddies. Damn, I feel like I'm insulting your username by having the Chicken Little movie as the worst five. Maybe I do this. Yo! Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. That makes way more sense. W fucking idea by the Bart man. Just so I can have a sneak peek. Yeah, the Myth Mythbusters collection one's got to stay on frame. All right. This one's going to be a shocker, chat. What do y'all think I'm about to pull out? If anyone guesses this, I'll gift you a fucking sub. It's about to be a shocker. It's about to be a shocker. I'm giving five seconds. A breathalyzer. That's not what I'm pulling out. The breathalyzer's over there. A Guinness. No. Four, three, two, one. A Warhead drink. Warhead Seltzer. Extreme Sour. No one knows. Dude, I see these. I know. Okay. I know I said I was going to restrict myself to like popular drinks that people know of. But I kind of furthered that restriction to like things that just kind of exist at any liquor store. Bro, I see these at every liquor store I go to. And they look so fucking gross. They look like why... What it says artisanal brew works warheads extreme sour black cherry why would i want a sour drink does that even have alcohol in it yeah it's five percent it's more out it's more it's a higher percent than most of the drinks here but i mean keep in mind that since this is light alcohol mostly all of these are going to be pretty low percentage except uh four loco and Beatbox, but those are in that cooler. And I'm almost out of the ones in this cooler. All right. Warheads Black Cherry. It smells great, right? It smells like an artificial, artificial fucking cherry flavor. No. 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 <laughs> Ugh. 
Uh, is it sour? It, it's not. It's sour tasting. It's just bad, right? And I love warheads. Like, I will eat warheads. Like, I'm not somebody that's like one of those people that won't eat Sour Patch Kids because they're too sour. Like, I love sour candy. It's not too sour. It's just why would I want my drink to be fucking sour? Oh, dude, now that I'm re-smelling it, it kind of smells like a bean boozled. Like, you know when you, you know when you open a bag of bean boozled and the one that's like vomit just like, just like overpowers the others? Oh my god. And I feel like black cherry would have been the best flavor too, because it came in a four pack. And it had blue raspberry, black cherry, lemon, and fucking watermelon. And I, I, I assumed the black cherry would have been the best. It's definitely bottom five. It's definitely bottom five. It's a matter of what the fuck is getting kicked out. I think this is getting moved out, right? This has to get moved out of the way. So now Bud Light Lime is the key holder for worse alcohol. Um, but I actually didn't even dislike Bud Light Lime. Um, oh, shit. I didn't dislike Bud Light Lime. Yeah, but it, it, it's... Uh, is it worse than all the others? No. Fuck, chat. We're gonna have to make a maneuver here. You have to keep... Chat, should we move Bud Light Lime out? I gotta move something else in. I can move something else into the bottom. I think Natty Light. Because Bud Light Lime wasn't bad. And I don't want it to be... I don't want it to be bottom five anymore since we have a bunch on, like, the back queue. Try it again. I'll resip them. Yeah, this is worse. The Bud Light Lime, the lime just saves it. It's actually not that bad. This, I still think is better than a Heineken. I still think, I still think Bud Light Lime, uh, or not Bud Light Lime. I still think Warheads is better than a Heineken and better than the Fosters. Uh, which is sad, but yeah. Oh, upside down. Now we got a classic here, right? Budweiser. Budweiser. Y'all peep that? Budweiser. Uh, one of the most staple drinks. Most people don't drink a Budweiser uh, unless you're a 50-year-old man. Uh, Budweiser is Budweiser is literally a uh, old person drink. Uh, Bud Light and Bud Light Lime might be appealing to uh, younger people, but I have never seen anyone under the age of... I'd say maybe 53 that has ordered a Budweiser. You're slurring your words. I'm not slurring my words. Limited edition, too. I'm assuming this is just for the Phillies. Genuine Budweiser. Ooh. Bit of a weird aftertaste. Is the difference between Budweiser and Bud Light that this is just stronger, chat? They're the same company, right? These two are the same company. Because it's Bud, short for Budweiser. Probably. I think they're separate companies. Hit the breathalyzer. Bro, relax. Let me get through. I have two more on this cooler. Let me do this one and the two more and then I'll hit the breathalyzer. Guinness is the old person drink? I, I mean, Guinness is really a niche drink. We'll get to that in a minute, but. Tastes like nothing. It's better, it's better than the Natty Light's not as good as the Miller. It's getting, it's getting moved to the side. I'd probably give it like a seven. It's not awful. And like, I, I would, or I would drink it, but I wouldn't order it. That's kind of, I, some, in the, if they're in the bottom five, it's assuming that I probably wouldn't drink it. But I, but I, wait, no, I probably wouldn't drink it at all, right? But if they're not in the bottom five, I'd probably drink them, but I wouldn't order them. These, I would order. I would order, I like. I don't like, I wouldn't order. I'm okay with, and I, I wouldn't order, but if you handed me one, I would drink it. Oh, shit. Next. I didn't know what flavor to get. 
Uh, because there's like a hundred different flavors of Trulies. Uh, but truly, uh, wild berry. What's your favorite light slash heavy alcohol? If it's hard alcohol, I really like, like maybe Captain Morgan. I like rum. If it's light alcohol, I mean, I like Trulies. I mean, we'll see, we'll see how this pans out. Cause I think Trulies are the better version of a White Claw. Uh, cause they have more flavor. They're the same amount of calories. Uh, the flavor variety is better, uh, and the can just looks cooler. <laughs> I don't know. Is that a key factor in rating? I don't think I should. I don't think I should factor that in how good the fucking how good the can looks. I think that's not that's not a good rating system. Uh, but all right. I would say though, hard alcohol, probably Captain Morgan for like just base light alcohol. I don't really know. We'll see at the end of this. Whatever the fuck is at the top is my favorite. It looks like yogurt. It kind of looks like a yo play. Wouldn't you assume that this would have like, if, if this was like a shorter can and kind of thicker, you might assume that this might have some, some fucking uh, Greek yogurt with some maybe strawberry mush at the bottom. Yo, I, yo, okay. This is me being a little buzz. Getting off topic here. Chat. Do y'all like the fucking yogurts that have the, the fucking fruit mush at the bottom? Those shits are so nasty. Those shits are so nasty. They're fucking disgusting. I can't drink them. Or not drink them. I can't eat them. Oh my God. Like if I'm eating yogurt, just give me like base vanilla Greek yogurt and I'll be happy. Right? The second you put some like blueberry mush that looks like somebody chewed a bunch of blueberries and then like regurgitated it after like 20 minutes of digestion back into the bottom of the cup and I have to fucking mix it around. And then you're eating it and you get one thick ass bite. Oh, it's so gross. It's so gross. I don't like it. Like I, I'd eat it, but if you handed me one, but I probably wouldn't eat the fruit shit. I'm eating bro. Yeah. And I'm drinking alcohol. The fuck? This tastes, I mean, it smells pretty good. It tastes pretty good. I really don't want to knock the Miller out, but I might have to. Yeah. Ooh. Yo, chat. Big play here. Big play here. I'm sorry to the Miller fans. I'm sorry to the Miller fans out there. Uh, I'm just going to say the drinkability of a Truly uh, is probably on par of that with a Miller to me. I know it's more carbonated. Some people can't drink as many of these as they could these. But the Tate, for me, I could drink the same amount of each and these taste better. So realistically, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to knock Miller out of the race, right? But at least it's not bottom five. I would still say it's top six, obviously. But it's not it's not bottom uh it's not bottom five, it's not top five. Hold up. Oh, oh my god. Alright. The last one on the right cooler. I never know how to say this. Tecate. Tecate. Yes? No? Yes? Tecate. Tecate. It's not Tecati. Tecati is wrong. Tecade. I don't think it's Tecade. Tech 8? It's not Tech 8. Tecate. Tecate? Is it Tecate? I don't know. It's a Mexican beer. Cerveza. Says it on the bottle. I know Spanish. I don't know Spanish. I watched Coco in my junior year of uh, high school. I can tell when it's a Mexican beer. Right? It says Cerveza on the bottle. I'm going to say, I'm going to call it uh, Tecate. Are you mentally okay? Yeah. I'm bilingual. I'm <laughs> not bilingual. Dude, I couldn't... My junior year in high school, when I was in Spanish 3, I could probably hold, like, a very loose conversation in Spanish. <clears throat> but, like, that was it. Uh, and now, now I know, like, a few words. Tecate. I'm gonna call it that. I don't know, the, I don't know for sure if it's called that. Use the breathalyzer after this, I will. 
I have ordered these beers before. They're not bad. It's a weird beer because it's kind of peppery, right? Um, like it has, it, it smells almost like nothing. But it has like a peppery taste. It's good. I don't think it's better than a Truly though and it's not worse than an Addy. It's going, it's going away. It's going away. I'd probably rate it like a 7-8. It's a decent beer. It's a pretty good beer. I, I'm not upset about it. I would drink it. I might order it if I'm in the mood for it. But um, it's it's not it's not worse than Natty Light, and it's not better than a Truly. It's kind of hard to knock them out, right? Because these are pretty like popular drinks, uh, and I do like all of them. All right, we gotta wait 20 seconds to blow this thing. Hold on, let me get the next drink. Let me open this shit. Oh God, dude, the amount of alcohol I have to fucking still test. Oh Jesus Christ. Like, I, I, I just got through the first... We're basically... Are we halfway? Hold up. After this, I'll determine. How the fuck have I gone down? Yo, this shit's inaccurate as fuck. It says I'm a .68. There is no way. There is no way. I'm redoing that. You're bugging out. Do it again. <laughs> there's no way I've gone down. There's no way I've gone down because I feel it more than I did before. Maybe it was more on my mouth. I don't know. Why does it still say wait? I, it just... Oh my god, dude. Dude, it, it says it just says point six again. <sighs> Yo, maybe I got a shitty breathalyzer. You'll think I got a shitty breathalyzer. I don't know. Hold up. One more test and then we move on. How much was it? Like forty dollars, bro. It just says 0.52 now. What the fuck? We're turning it off. We'll return after five more. We'll return to that after five more, chat. How many are we in? One, two, three, four, five. I, I have 10. Why am I counting? 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We're halfway. We're halfway. Dumb in the chat. We're halfway. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. The amount of beers I have left is fucking absurd. Ugh. Let's get on to the next one. Guinness! Guinness! Woo! Guinness! It's not a twist off. You know what that means, chat. Gotta break out the fucking flip flop. Gotta break out the flip flop. You might be asking Joe, why the fuck are you gonna open a bottle with a flip flop? It's got a bottle opener on the bottom of it. And it fucking works like a charm, bitch. Shout out to Reefs. Shout out to Reef's flip flops. Shout out to Reef's flip flops. Uh, I bought those a while ago, expecting that I would be using them. Uh, that was the second time I have ever used that flip flop uh, to open a beer. Uh, so let's just say that it's kind of useless that it's on the bottom of it, uh, unless you're doing an alcohol tier list on stream and you don't have a bottle opener. Uh, Guinness. Uh, I think this is regular Guinness. Guinness Extra Stout. This is 5.6% alcohol, 22 fluid ounces. EST, 1759. Old alcohol here. Uh. Oh my god, it tastes like soy sauce. 
It tastes like soy sauce. Oh, that's so fucking gross. Oh my God, dude, is that because it's extra stout? Oh, oh my God, I need to drink something else. Dude, it tastes like soy sauce. Oh my God, dude, I've had Guinness. I ha I've had Guinness and it doesn't taste like that. Oh, oh my God. Dude, when I tell you, have you ever been to a sushi restaurant and you've dropped your piece of sushi in soy sauce? Like you normally dip it, right? But like, say you're at a sushi restaurant and you drop your piece of sushi in and then you still eat it and it's really overpowering. Imagine just drinking that. It's just the soy sauce. Oh my God, why does it taste like soy sauce? It's really dark. <laughs> I can't drink that. Oh my God, that is the worst alcohol I've ever had in my life. That is the worst alcohol I've ever had in my life. Oh my God, dude. And isn't, isn't Guinness German? I'm German. Well, I feel, I feel like I'm betraying, betraying like my ancestors. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Dude, it's Irish. Oh, Guinness is Irish. Oh, well, I'm also Irish. This shit's trash. This shit is garbage. Do people in Ireland like this? People in Ireland drink this? Like on the daily. Like you'll go to, like people in Ireland go to a bar and order this. Dude, that's crazy. This is fucking gross. This is actually, dude, I gotta drink it again. I feel like maybe I'm just like clouded. I'm like, I'm not open to it. Because at the end of the day, like if you want me to be real, uh, the first time you drink beer, it's not enjoyable. Same thing with wine. Like most beers, it's more prominent with wine as an acquired taste. But even with beer, like you have to kind of grow to like it. But like, I don't know if I could grow to like this. Dude, it, smell, it smells like soy sauce. Why does it smell like, what is it made with? What are they fermenting in Guinness? Somebody Google that and tell me. I'm too far away from my fucking keyboard. Dude, this shit is gross. Oh my God, dude, it's the aftertaste. Fuck that shit. Oh my God, Natty Light's out. Natty Light's out. Bravo, Natty Light. You're no longer in the bottom five. Oh my God, that is fucking disgusting. Stellar Artois is now the, the fucking fifth worst. Yo, Guinness is worse than the Australian beer. I'm so sorry for my, for my five Irish viewers. Evo, Evo, if you're in my chat, my VIP, I'm sorry that your beer is trash, right? I'm not sorry for shitting on it. Uh, I'm sorry that your country uh, does not make the best beer. Uh, maybe get a Miller uh, because that shit is fucking disgusting. Uh, it's, it tastes like soy sauce uh, and I would never want to drink that another day in my life. Um, I've also had, and I forgot to bring this, but I'm going to bring it up, but I'm upset I forgot to bring it. I had a Guinness coffee brew mix that I had at my friend's house and I didn't pick it up. It is Guinness mixed with cold brew coffee and it is fucking gross, but it's not near like, dude, it probably wouldn't have made bottom five. Like the Guinness cold brew coffee was probably like middle of the road. That's foul. That tastes like, like soy sauce. That's on the chain. Yo, trash ass machine. Yo, literally L in the chat for whatever fucking company made this breathalyzer. Let's so let's hope to God that the that the police don't use this. Let's hope to God that the police do not use this fucking thing. Because holy hell. Holy hell. Holy hell, that'll be a fucking issue. Fucking crash through a goddamn stop sign. Fucking run over run over a fucking whole ass building. Oh sorry, officer. I'll blow zero though. Here's my breathalyzer. Use mine. Use mine, please. Use mine by all means, because it apparently blows zero zero no matter what. Fucking stupid ass breathalyzer. Yeah, now it says 0. .51. Dude, it, I think it's at 0. .51. We're gonna move on. Michelob Ultra. 
That's stupid ass breathalyzer. I can't believe I spent fucking like 40 bucks on that. By all means, officer, use my breathalyzer. I t I'm telling you right now, it's 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 very accurate. Mick, Mick Ultra. Smells like piss. Not surprising. Tastes like absolutely nothing. I'm getting no, I'm getting, I'm getting water. With an aftertaste of yeast. Now, the taste itself is not there, right? The taste is, I can't even rate it because it tastes like nothing, right? It's like I'm drinking water. But, keyword, but, that means I can drink a lot of these. So do we put it in the top five? It's not bottom five. It's, be it's better than that bitch ass Stella Artois. Stella Artois. Fuck that dumbass beer. I hope it stays there for the rest of the goddamn stream. I don't know if I want to move it up. But like Michelob Ultra is like most recognizably like the lightest alcohol. Or the lightest beer. In, not in the sense of like maybe percentage. But more so in the sense of like it tastes like nothing. Like it actually tastes like nothing. You can't even taste it. Why would you put it above everything? Because I don't know. Because it has a high drinkability. But I would say it's still probably the same drinkability as a Truly. Just because the Truly tastes good. And I'm I, like, I'm, I'm, I, I could probably kill the same amount of them. We're going to move it out. We're going to move it out. We're going to move it out. It, it, we're going to move it out. I'm going to rate it. I'll rate it like a 7.5. 7.8 seven, maybe. 7.9. Not an 8. But it's good. It's not the best thing I've had today. But it's definitely not near the worst. Dude, some of these are still on cam and it's pissing me the fuck off. I'm going to start moving shit over here. All right, there we go. Hold up, I got to blow my nose. Yo, chat, would y'all be mad if I took a piss break right now? <sighs> I think these drinks are starting to flow through me pretty quickly. I'm pretty worried, though, that if I get up, right, because I'm kind of pinned, right? I'm pinned to the wall right now. Uh, there's a dresser right behind me. And I kind of have like a 10 degree mobility. And so if I get up, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back. We're going to get up. We're going to get up and I have to take this off. Thank God I'm not drunk enough to not remember that. Otherwise, you guys would be listening to me take a piss. Uh, and that would be really awkward. So count me down 30 seconds. I'll be back. Fuck. We're back. Oh my God. Oh, here we go, chat. Oh, made it right in time. Yeah, I made it middle of the way. Fucking Mike's sitting on the goddamn table right now. I gotta get more scotch tape. Pin this to my fucking chest. I'm so professional, chat. My God, I might as well be PewDiePie or Mr. Beast. I got a fucking lavalier mic. Might as well be on a movie set. Call me Tom Cruise, bitch. Jesus Christ. All right, next one. Uh, uh, we heard you pee. You didn't hear me pee. I put the mic right there. I put the mic right there. You saw the mic. All right, next one is not Mike's hard lemonade. It is Mike's Harder Lemonade. Uh, what percentage is this? Mike's Harder Lemonade is 8% alcohol by per volume. Uh, it is not a regular Mike's Lemonade. I didn't grab a regular Mike's Lemonade. Because uh, I thought it would just kind of be like in the middle of the road with the tweeze. So I said, oh, they offer a Harder Lemonade. 
this is kind of on par with like a weaker uh, a weaker wine. Uh, so it's a bit stronger. It's about twice as strong as most of the alcohols here. Uh, but it's still technically a light alcohol. Uh, Mike's Harder Lemonade, base flavor, nothing special. Y'all know, do y'all go to Annie Ann's at your mall? Uh, if you go to Annie Ann's at your local mall and you get the lemonade at that Annie Ann's, it tastes like this. Um, it's not like base lemonade. It's, it's, it, it tastes actually like decent lemonade, overly sugared, right? Like a lot of sugar in this or artificial sugar, whichever they put in here. I love how they don't have ingredient labels on most alcohols as well. That's always fucking astonishing to me that they, that they don't include that. But it tastes like that. It's pretty good. Um, you taste the alcohol though, because it's 8%. Like when you drink something that's 4%, 5%, maybe even like six or uh, 6%, you might not really taste the alcohol, but when you, when you get upwards of like eight, nine, 10% uh, light alcohols, like the aftertaste is very like vodka-esque or like grain alcohol, uh, but it tastes pretty good. And for the percentage that it is, you actually need to drink less of these. Uh, and so if you're somebody that doesn't like drinking a lot of liquid, uh, this might actually be better. So do I want to put, it's better than any of these, that without a doubt, right? Because I actually like it. Is it better than a Truly? Ooh. Yeah. It's stronger, but it has that taste that kind of masks it. So I'm going to move truly out of the race here. Big fucking move here, chat. Oh my God. Truly's out of the fucking race. Is it better than a Twee? I don't think it's better than a Twee though. But then chat, is this like, isn't this kind of fucked if I have like, Right now in the top five, three of them have iced tea in them. Like, that's a problem, right? Out of the top five, three of them have iced tea. That's too many. That's too many. I actually, I want to do this. It, Tweed should still be top five. It's, it's still better than a Shruli. But I genuinely do like the Mike's Harder more. Even though I could drink less of them, there is no need to drink more of them because it's a higher percentage. Oh boy. Oh, the goddamn, the goddamn liberal drink. The goddamn liberal drink. Yep. Yeah. You see the recent ad they did of these? See the recent ad? They put a, they put a fucking Lucky Charms flag on one of these. Yeah, fucking, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to drink this. I don't know. I don't know if I'm just gonna tart my manlyhood if I if I take a a simple a, a simple one of these. Yeah, talking about talking about a little sissy drink. I don't know about this. Yeah, let me just give a quick PSA though. Well, I, you know, I'll taste test it first. I'll taste test it. Yep, just what I thought. All right. Bud Light. Doing an LGBTQ collab did not make your beer bad. Your beer was bad before, right? It hasn't changed, right? If you're a, a Bud Light fan and you're no longer a Bud Light fan because they did an LGBTQ collab, I hate to break it to you, your beer sucks already. Right? The LGBTQ thing didn't change it at all. It's just a collab. That was it. The can had a fucking rainbow on it. Nothing changed. Your beer was ass before. Right? I don't know if it's bottom five, but it's not good. Like, it's like a six. And you're a horrible person. 
What? And you're a horrible person. Are you mad because I don't like Bud Light? Are you that mad because I don't like Bud Light? I'm not, like, dude, it's like a 6 out of 10. It's not bottom 5. I still think it's better than the Stella Artois. It's better than the Stella Artois. I would rather have this than the Stella Artois. But, like, the, 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 the collab with the rainbow shit, with the LGBTQs, right? Nothing changed. Nothing changed, right? That's good that they did that. They were trying to be more inclusive. They were showing that they like, hey, I will kind of say they did it kind of as a marketing tactic. So I kind of don't appreciate that when companies try to just collab with uh, the LGBTQ to get more customers. I appreciate them showing the support, the support to the LGBTQ. But in reality, it kind of said, it, or it kind of seems like they just did it to make money. Am I wrong in saying that? I feel like whenever a company, whenever a company does a collab, or not a col I don't, I don't know if I would have called it a collab, but whenever they change something on their can for a part-time to like a rainbow flag, like I feel like they're not actually showing their support. They're just kind of trying to get more money. They're trying to get more, yeah, they're trying to be more inclusive to obtain more money. It's a marketing tactic, right? Yes, they're showing, okay, yes, we support the LGBTQ. But in reality, their main goal is, hey, let's make more money by doing this. Which, that's what, what bothers me, right? Because, like, whenever a multi-billion dollar company does a collab with uh, LGBTQ, it just doesn't come off as if they're being supportive. It comes off more as, hey, let's get some sales. Uh. Which is stupid to me. It, it tastes, it, it, it's, it's very reminiscent of Michelob Ultra. Maybe a little bit worse. It's not bottom five. It's not top five. It's neither. It's like a 6.5 out of 10. 6 out of 10. Hold up. Ugh. Have you seen Ford doing that? Ford doing what? Dude, my chat is glitching. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. If I knock something over here, this is going to be disastrous. Oh, this is going to be disastrous. Oh, my God. I did it, chat. Okay. All right. Here we go. Next one. Modelo. Modelo is a good beer <coughs> on a beach. Uh, the really annoying thing is this is a tall boy, so I'm not going to have this issue. But most Modellos have like a gold wrapper that you have to peel off. Oh, it's the most annoying thing in the fucking world to get out, right? When you're trying to actually open a glass-bottled Modelo, it's like a two-minute adventure to open it, and then you have a bunch of little gold scraps just, like, sitting all over the table from trying to fucking peel back this shit so you can open the goddamn bottle. Uh, but I have the ease of use here where it's just a tall boy. Uh, Modelo Oro, uh, gold standard light beer, 90 calories, three carbs, I don't know the percentage. 4%. Pretty light alcohol. My dad's drinking Modelo right now. Yeah, Modelo's a dad beer. Modelo's definitely a dad beer. Um, And I see why. Like, it's not bad. It smells like nothing. That, I feel like if it's under 4%, it just, it just doesn't even have a smell. I don't know why I made that face. Dude, it tastes like nothing. Like, it has a taste, and it tastes like beer. But, like, when you taste a beer, you're expecting there to be, like, a thicker taste. Like, Miller High Life has a thicker taste, and so does Ying Wang, right? But, like, with Modelo, I'm trying it, and, like, it has that initial taste, and then right when you swallow it, it's just nothing. Somebody redeemed Flex? Okay. I feel like I'm going to cleanse my palate, too. Yeah. I'm going to drink some water. It's good. I would rate it like a 7. Like, I could see myself ordering one of these. I wouldn't be surprised if I ordered one of these at, a at, at like, a fucking uh, bar or some shit. Um, 
but it's like a 7 out of 10. I would say, ooh, is it better than... Fuck, fuck. And now my chicken little copy is ruined. And now my chicken little copy is fucking ruined. And out of all the beers I could have spilt, I spilt the one that tastes and smells like soy sauce. Fantastic. Get a straw. Yeah, you think I'm going to be drinking that? You see it bubbling on the table? It's starting to come alive. Ugh. I should have gotten a darker colored towel. I hope this doesn't stain it. Chat, what are the odds that stains it? I'll just throw it out. I'll buy a new towel. I'll buy a new towel if need be. All right. That's good enough. We cleaned it up, chat. Hooray. Huh. Get me all nervous there. Fuck this dumbass Guinness. Yo, L in the chat for Guinness Stout. <laughs> Once again. What the fuck? Okay, it was Foster's Heineken. Warhead Stella. All right. I'm trying to think, though, that if whether or not I like Modelo more than a Twee. Because uh. it's like a seven, seven and a half in taste, but the drinkability is really there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna compare. Ah, oh, but Miller was pretty good too. But I don't know if I like Modelo more than a Miller. All right, we gotta do a three-way comparison here. Chat, we're doing a three-way comparison here. Which one's gonna win? It's the tweet. Okay. Uh, it's only it's only reaffirming it's only reaffirming uh, my truth that the twee was better. Okay. Chicken Little is still dripping uh, with uh, what smells like soy sauce. Yo, does anybody want to buy this DVD copy off of me? The Joe Bar Alcohol Tier List Chicken Little copy. Yo, only five hundred and forty-five dollars, chat. What a steal. <laughs> What a steal, chat. What a steal, chat. It's for sure a good buy. You should definitely, you should definitely think of investing. Okay. Let's move it back. Chicken Little is there. Move Pabst out of the fucking can. Dude, everything's in the can still now. This needs to get out of the goddamn can. Why is everything in the camera now? How the fuck did that even happen? All right. All right. We're good. We're good, chat. Okay, next one. Fuck. <sighs> Had to get it. The only other flavor that I got for Smirnoff Ice. Smirnoff Ice original. Not the red, white, and blue. Twist off cap. Always love that. Always vibe with the twisties. So the Smirnoff is back and better than ever. It's here to compete. It's here to compete once again, chat. The red, white, and blue got knocked off, yay, maybe 20 minutes ago. But now it's it's Bigger Brother, the original flavor that kind of tastes like lemonade, which is three out of the five fucking, oh my God, four out of the five. Holy shit, chat. Our top five is, our top five consists of half and half tea and lemonade. T, Miller, Lemonade, T. And now we got another Lemonade. It's not, it's not going to be in either of them. This one is so good though. This one, like, if I had to drink any, any of these on like a hot beach and I'm sweating, this. Because it's refreshing. It's refreshing. It tastes the least sweetened. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. Fuck, is it better than a Twee? Dude, then we're gonna have just lemonades in the top. Oh my God, it might be better than a Twee.
Oh my god, a monumental play! Twisted T is out of the fucking runnings! Now we have Arnold Palmer, half and half. Twisted T, half and half. Miller High Life. Mike Carter, smeared off ice. And then on the fucking bottom five, Stellar Artois, Warheads, Heineken, Fosters, and Guinness Stout. And now our next contender. A goddamn blue moon. A goddamn blue moon. A fancier drink. A fancier beer, technically. I'll order a blue moon. If I'm drinking a blue moon, I feel like I'm I feel like I'm high class. I feel like I, I, if I'm drinking a blue moon, it makes me feel like like you know, I'm above everybody, you know? I'm sipping there and it but it's like I'm kind of a humble. I'm kind of humble, right? I'm sipping a blue moon. You know, I'm I'm acknowledging that, you know, I'm better than you, but I'm also, you know, just kind of nonchalant about it, right? That's what a blue moon makes you feel like. I mean, that reaction warrants another taste to see if it's in the bottom. I drink Blue Moons. <laughs> I drink Blue Moons. See, this is what's this is what's bad, dude. Like, I feel like I'm re I don't want to put Blue Moon in the bottom five, so I'm going to try it again. But, like, dude, I'll drink Blue Moons, and I like them. <clears throat> but that was, that did not taste good. I think I might have to compare them. I think I'm getting... Yeah, now it tastes fine. Okay. It's when... The difference between a Blue Moon and, like, say, something like a Miller Lite is, like, it's more of a thicker beer. And the thicker beers kind of have more distinct flavors that are differentiate, like differentiated from maybe other light beers uh, and more closer to, like, a Yingling. Like, a Blue Moon is thick and similar to a yingling. They taste different, but it's something that you kind of have to like sip twice and then you get used to. It's better than the Stella. It's better than the Stella. All right. Now that that's settled, the Blue Moons, you know, it's not top five. It's not, it's not even near top five. I'm now kind of rethinking why I even order Blue Moons to begin with. Uh, probably because most of the drinks on this list, like this is as much sugar as a soda, as much sugar as a soda, a beer, as much sugar as a soda and 8% alcohol, more sugar than a soda. Fuck! This is exactly what I didn't want to happen, chat. And that's why I said I'm not just ranking on taste, but it seems like I'm just ranking on taste because now... Everything at the fucking top five is just sugary shit. Oh. That's just how it goes, though. They taste better. They taste so much more. They taste so much more. I don't want to say more good. Gooder. They taste better by far. To the point where even though they don't have as much drinkability, they're still better. Now, I got to compare the Truly and the Smirnoff. Oh, the Smirnoff's better. It is. It's just so much better. It's just so much better. Oh, my God. That upsets me, kind of. Cayman Jack. Now, is have y'all heard of this? I don't know if this is a regional alcohol. I, I didn't... I don't think it is, and so I, I brought it. Uh, but I don't know if it's a regional alcohol. Yes? Okay, then it's not regional. Uh. Cayman Jack. It's a margarita seltzer. Uh, it's a malt beverage. It has 5.8% alcohol, so it's pretty high. Uh, but it has lime juice and uh, agave. I don't know what the alcohol in it is. Maybe tequila? It's a margarita. It smells great. Came in Jack. <laughs> Came in who? Came in who? Came in who? Shut up! At the end of the tier list, mix all the drinks and take a sip. No. That's really good. That's really fucking good. 
It tastes exactly like a low percentage alcohol margarita. It has the saltiness. It has the sweetness. I'm a fan. Wow. This is really fucking good. Oh my god, I've never had one of these before. Dude, it's so limey. It's so limey. It's like a good sour. It's like where this fucking failed. High is 30% alcohol, not for a light drink. High alcohol for a light drink is like 8%, 8 or 9%. Most, all the light alcohols here are between like 4 and 5. This is like almost 6. I love the people that come into my stream and say alcoholic, even though I'm literally just tasting alcohols. You're an alcoholic. I'm done following you. You are no longer, you are no longer my favorite streamer. You just took a sip, you just took a sip of a Miller Light. And for that reason, I'm unfollowing. Uh, buddy, what the fuck? Like, you, like, dude, you realize alcoholic would, would entail me getting drunk, like, all the time, right? I have drank on stream three times cumulative, and this is one of this, one of the times. And I'm doing this for a video, right? This is a planned out event on a Saturday. It's not Tuesday at 2 p.m., right? Like, figure it the fuck out. I gotta compare these, because this is... This is a contender for top five. Wow, that has, like, way... I feel like these are, like, similar sweetness levels, but this has more flavor. It's better. Now, is it better than a Mike's Harder? Yep. I don't think it's better than the Miller High Life. We're going to go that. We're going to go Cayman Jack Margarita. W Cayman Jack. Top four. Top four. Fourth place right now. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. I still think I would rather have these because this is pretty... It's a pretty strong flavor, but I enjoy it. It just tastes like a margarita, which is why it says margarita on the fucking can. If you've never had a margarita, it just tastes kind of like a salty, limey water. I gotta stop fucking with the tab there. I gotta peel it off. It's already it's already almost off, chat. I might as well just fucking get it off. Jesus Christ. Uh, anyways. It tastes pretty good. Alright. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Am I allowed to pass on this one? This is a four loco gold, which is 14% alcohol, which is more than wine, than most wines. Uh, I'd have to try it. Okay, I will try it, chat. You know, I will try it. Uh, since y'all since y'all peer pressured me and swayed my hand within three seconds of just saying no, uh, I will try the four loco gold. Um, but... I don't like Four loco. I've had two Four Locos ever, and both times I drank a Four loco, I only drank a Four loco. <laughs> like, after the Four loco, I was done drinking. Like, I didn't want to drink more. Dude, because it's fucking 24 ounces. It's a fucking big-ass can, and it's 14%. This is the equivalent of, like... Six regular drinks. Like, six regular drinks. Like, me drinking this is the equivalent of me drinking three of these. That's... Maybe three and a half of these is one of these. Which is what's nuts. Dude, they taste so bad. Because they're so high alcohol. And it's such high sugar. Because they just try to mask the flavor. Because they know that they're shoving so much alcohol in it. And that it tastes like shit. So they have to fucking conversely just throw sugar in it to try and make it taste better. Shotgun it? No. Dude, do y'all want to hear a story about one of my friends? One of my friends, who is also my longest sub in my Twitch chat, can, can shotgun two of those.
and be fine. And he 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 could shotgun two of those. He's also the same guy that drank a whole bottle of wine. I told this story before. He drank a whole bottle of wine in three minutes when I was in Jamaica two years ago with him. He drank half a bottle of Captain Morgan, poured Coke in the other half, swished it around, and then drank that. And that was all he had the whole day was a handle of fucking Captain Morgan. I'm like, dude, I would actually, like, no chat. No chat. When I'm telling you this, like, I'm not like, oh, that's so cool. I'm like, dude, if I did that, I would actually die. Like, I would die. Like, a whole bottle of Captain Morgan? Uh-uh. Coke, not cocaine. Like, Coca-Cola. He did Captain, drank half, and then poured the other half with Coke. And so it was a handle of Captain Morgan that he drank in, like, a day and a half. Um, just by himself. Which I was, like, astonished by. Like, that's like a feat of mankind. No. No. <sighs> oh my god. It's like the initial taste, dude, you can tell they put like, I think a four loco gold is like 95 grams of sugar. Because they put so much sugar in it that when you're drinking it, like when it hits your mouth, you're like, oh, it doesn't taste that bad. The second you swallow it, that like abrupt warmth of alcohol just like hits you. And it smells like it too. Dude, it just sm it smells like what I would assume actual toxic waste would smell like. <laughs> oh my god it might be bottom five it might be bottom five dude just off taste i know it's higher percentage so that's like gonna factor in but like it's bad it's bad it's not dude like no one enjoys drinking those you if you enjoy drinking a four loco you enjoy drinking a four loco because it's such high percentage Nobody's drinking a Four loco. Like, oh, hey, Four Locos taste fucking amazing. Gold is the worst flavor? Yeah, but gold is the most... It made the most sense for me to rate gold because gold is, like, the most well-known flavor. Oh, my God. Dude, Stella's so bad, though. Dude, I might... <laughs> Yo, Stella... Yo, I'm sorry for the one French viewer that I have. This beer is fucking terrible. This beer is so bad. It's so gross. It's so gross. It's so gross. I It might be worse than this. Four Locos are gas. Y'all are hating. Dude, the sugar saves it. The sugar saves it, but this is like, out of all of the beers, out of all of the light alcohols here, this is the least healthy. This has the most sugar, the most alcohol, the most calories. Dude, this is like absurd. It's 24 fluid ounces. That's nuts. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to move it out. Right? It's not the worst because it's better than the Stella. The Stella's just taste so bad. The Stella's are bad from start to finish. The Four Loco's good and then really bad. Right? So which is worse? Would you rather have a, a, a drink that tastes good initially and when you swallow it, it's disgusting? Or would you rather have something that tastes like pretty bad the entire, the entire experience? Four lo I would rather have the Four loco than that. Do the breathalyzer? Dude, I don't think it works. I'll do it one more time before finish because we have like 10 more. We have like 10, uh, maybe like 12 more. I don't know how many we're at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, eleven. Eleven or ten. Fifteen seconds. Dude, why doesn't it work? Mimi for the five gifted sub in the chat for Mimi for the five gifted subs. Dude, I missed so many fucking subs too. Jesus Christ. Yo, thank you for everybody that's been subbing. I'm sorry if I missed it. Point oh nine. What the fuck am I doing? Oh, it's showing me my past ones.
0.09 is over the legal limit, but by 0.01. But I thought it said I was 0.5 originally. Dude, I don't remember. What was I at? What was I at? What was I at? Somebody get this man his keys. I, no, now it's saying I can't drive. Yeah, I can't drive. I'm not going to drive. When I'm done stream, I'm going to spend an hour cleaning this shit up. And then I got to fucking upload VODs. Y'all acting like I'm going to get in my car. I'm not getting in my fucking car. Oh, I covered it. Why is it not going? Jesus Christ, how long was I blown there for like 10 seconds? Stupid ass breathalyzer. Super ass press lives don't fucking work. Corona extra. The long awaited. People have been asking about this one. It's in the fucking back, chat. It's in the goddamn back, all the way in the fucking back, bitch. Uh, w Corona, bro. Hopefully it's good, right? Because what I'm going to say is I don't like Coronas without a lime. And I don't have a line, right? Uh, the first beer I ever had was a Corona. Not the first drink. The first alcoholic drink I ever had was a Smirnoff Ice. Uh, the red, white, and blue. But the first... The first beer beer that I had was Corona Extra. Uh, with a line. And it was pretty good. But without a line, it just doesn't... I don't know what it is. It might just be a mental thing. It just doesn't taste as good. It's not good with a lime. It's not good with a lime, and it also might be the fact that this is a can and not a bottle. Oh my god, I don't like it. I don't like it. Is Corona, what's the most popular beer? What would y'all consider the most popular beer? Probably Corona. Corona, maybe Miller. Or Bud Light. Bud Light just has recent hype because of all the controversy and shit that people are, like, bitching about. But, like, I would say generally the most popular beer would probably be Corona. And I get it. Like, it, this fits a certain situation, right? A Corona on a beach, at a pool, outside, when it's warm, hot, you have a lime... You're sitting there and, and, the, and it's starting to fucking like sweat because the condensation, like that's good, right? That's a good beer. I'm painting out a picture where you're going to fucking like it, right? But like sitting here in my room drinking a goddamn Corona, no lime out of a can. No. Not a fan. It's still better than the Stella. I vividly remember the Stella. I'm going to give it another taste. I've, I, I've, I feel like I've drank a third of the Stella. I don't like it. I don't like it. The, st the Stella's not good. The Stella's really not good. I'm sorry for the people that want me to like Stella. It's just fucking tear. It's just so bad. It's just so bad. It's not a good beer. And I saw, you know, I came up with this idea. I've been talking about doing the goddamn beer list for fucking what? How long have I been talking about doing this idea chat? Three months? And then I've been talking about doing it for three months. And then Moist Critical uploads a beer list. Ludwig uploads a beer list. Everybody and their fucking mother uploads a beer list. So I said, you know, I gotta one-up them. So I did a light alcohol tier list, you know? They only did beer. I did light alcohol as a whole. And for that reason, I'm a fucking menace, okay? Because I'm a fucking menace because I one up to them, right? But I'm see I watched their- I watched their list- and some of those motherfuckers, I saw Ludwig. Lu yo, I'm, yo, Ludwig, have you ever seen this clip, pal? I'm going to say this right now. You don't know your beers, bro. You said Heineken was a good beer. You are crazy. You're drunk as fuck. I'm not getting mad. I'm not drunk as fuck either, chat. What, dude, Heineken is a bad beer. It's not, it's not a good beer. It's just not. 
Like, I, like, I, would I drink it? Yeah, if somebody fucking handed me one for free. But am I gonna enjoy it? No. Beatbox! Y'all know what this is? I don't know if this is regional, but I see these all over the place. Uh. A little fucking beatbox remix. Eater, eater. Looks like you're drinking a goddamn protein shake, except it's 11% alcohol. What flavor is this? Fruit punch? They're so good. Oh! Oh! They're so good. It reminds me, y'all ever have muscle milk? It's the same, it's the same, like, packaging as muscle milk, but they just put something else in it. Like, I don't know if they get them from the same company, but it looks exactly like muscle milk. And it, and it drinks exactly like muscle milk, where it, like, gurgles in the bottle. And it smells good, it tastes good. I love fruit punch flavored things, too. I have a beatbox in my fridge. Oh, wait, no, you have uh, muscle milk in your fridge. Dude, muscle milks are so good. I love muscle milk. This is really good. Wow, this might be better than the Mike's Harder. And that. And that. Is it better than a Twee? Hold up. Oh, my God, it's better than a Twee. Is it better than an Arnold Palmer? No. Wow. Wow. Chat. Chat, a big fucking play has just been made. Everybody say goodbye to the Mike's Harder. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for the Mike's Harder fans. I gotta fucking knock you out here. We gotta move him down. We gotta move him down. Beatbox. Beatbox has now solidified its position in the top two, where it will likely stay top five for the rest of the tourney, because I only have, what, nine more? Nine more, I think. Dude, I gotta pee again. Oh, my God. Dude, drinking too much. I have the bladder of a peanut. Y'all gotta count me down again, bro. I'm so sorry. Your little ASMR sesh. <sighs> Welcome to the Joe Bart stream. Today, we're going to be doing something very special today. Where I'm going to be serenading you guys with uh, perfect um, tones of voice. To where you guys can relax and s stop. Why? Why are you saying stop? Bro, like you're telling, okay, bye. Bro, what the fuck? Take a blinky. I'm not taking a bl Unfollowed. All right, now y'all are being extra. Hold the fuck up. Before we do this last nine, I gotta fucking pee again. Dude, I hope I don't run into anything. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. This is a balancing act. Don't knock anything over. There's fucking so many drinks on the table. Oh, fuck. Count me down. room chat i just gotta I, gotta I gotta get a fucking different room holy fuck oh no i was shaking the table we're good oh we're good okay fuck hold up hold up okay i think i just fucking cracked my phone who gives a shit doesn't matter. Is he already drunk? What do you mean already drunk, bitch? I'm fucking 25 alcohols in. More scotch tape. Stat. Hello? Test one, two. Can y'all hear me? Good shit. All right, here we go. <sighs> Welcome back from the commercial break. <laughs> Welcome back from the commercial break. Thus far... We have eliminated many alcohols from the running, uh, from the best or the worst. So far, we have the best, standing by Mythbusters Collection 1. 
Arnold Palmer swiped, half and half. Beatbox fruit punch, twisted tea, half and half. Miller High Life and Cayman Jack. Uh, and the worst, from the least worst to the to the most worst, from the fifth worst to the most worst, Stella Artois. Fuck that stupid ass beer. Warheads, Black Cherry. Terrible idea. I don't know why they ever thought of making that into an alcohol. Heineken. Ugh. Fosters. Ugh. Guinness. Guinness Extra Stout. Not only was it the worst beer by far, it was fucking zero. I would rate that shit a point five. No lie, I spilled it. And now my whole room smells, smells like soy sauce. Call, call 45. Call 45. Uh, no one actually drinks these. Uh, the only, the only time I have ever seen, uh, a Colt 45 reference is in Afro Man's, uh, crazy rap. Uh, in which he says Colt 45 and two zigzags. Uh, meaning all he needs is one of these, uh, and two doobies, aka two joints, and he's good. Uh, so hopefully the Colt 45, uh, is good. And it lives up to the hype of the song. Because I have never seen anyone drink any of these in my entire life. Have y'all ever witnessed anybody order one of these? Chat. Uh, probably the fuck not. I don't even know if bars sell these. Colt 45. <sighs> Colt 45. Original. Rich smoothness for every occasion. Every occasion, even driving. Cold 45 original always remains true. The classic American lager since 1963. Would have been would have been way better if it's in 1962. The classic American lager since 1962 always remains true. That shit would have rhymed. Dumb as fuck. Should have invented Cold 45 a year earlier. Bit bit cringe. Anyways. Uh, doesn't smell good. Not a fan of the taste. Not a fan, not not a fan, right? Uh, middle of the road, yet again, like all the other alcohols, because we're rating 38 here, 39, uh, and only 10 are going to make either the top five or the bottom five. Uh, it's definitely better than Stella. Uh, it's very... Which one have I drank the most out of, chat? Out of all these here, I think I've tried Stella the most times. Because Stella stayed at the top of, like, the worst. Like, it's been the fifth worst. So I think I've keep, I keep trying Stella. It's so bad. It's better. It's better than Stella. I'd probably rate it in the sevens. I'd probably rate it in the sevens, the Colt. Whereas Stella's maybe, like, a low, a low fucking six high five. It's not too bad, but it's also really not that good. Should I move these forward more? Like this? I feel like I should have done that. Why the fuck have I not done that from the start? Who gives a shit? Let's do this. That makes so much more sense. That makes so much more sense. And now we can have this. Here. And this. That does not... That looks worse. That looks worse. It looks worse. Fuck. Fuck. Move it back. Move it back. Why did I change it? Why did I change it? It looks so much worse. Oh my god. Don't do it. Don't do it. Resist the urge to break Mythbusters Collection 1. That was disc 4. That probably has, that probably has the, the good experiments in there. Probably is the one where they, where they did the curved bullet shot. Don't break it. Don't break it. I have to resist the urge to start smashing things. Fucking. Just, I just start breaking the disc. You know, fuck that shit, Chicken Little. Chicken Little, fuck your stupid ass. Fuck your stupid ass movie. 
Will I hurt myself? Will I hurt myself? I'm scared. I'm not going to do it yet. I haven't gained the confidence. I haven't gained the confidence to break it yet. I have to, I have to gain the confidence. I have to gain the confidence to break Chicken Little. All right. Fuck. Now, we'll do this one next. We'll do Red Stripe. Red Stripe. Next. Next. On the tier list in the rating. Uh, this is, I believe, a Jamaican beer. Uh, I have this in Jamaica, so it might not be a Jamaican beer, but it's definitely a Caribbean beer. It is a Jamaican beer. Jamaican lager, 4.7% alcohol. Ugh. I drank a lot of these when I was in Jamaica. Uh, they had them in our rooms. I don't think it's a twist off. Yes! We get to break out the flip-flop, chat. Dub in the chat. Oh my god, I get to break out the fucking flip-flop. Oh, I'm getting the use out of it. These flip-flops were so worth, chat. Where is it? Oh, so worth. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Fucking like butter, dude. I don't even know where the fucking cap went. I lost it. Where the fuck did it go? Where the hell did the cap go? <laughs> where the hell did the cap go? Did it go behind? Whatever. We lost it. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> it's, it's fucking gone. You should play story mode of... Of USC. Of USC. You mean you mean like UFC? Yo, bro, should I read the donos real quick? Go go for the three of your biddies. Have you had the Dragon Ball G Fuel? Bro, I have the Dragon Ball G Fuel right here. The Kamehameha, ha, that's just good as fuck. I'm not drinking that right now though. I had so many liquids already. Thanks for the forge biddies. Here's the refund on that Guinness. <laughs> bro refunded me for the Guinness. Austin, Austin King, uh, Alan Need for the sub. A little run for the thousand biddies. COVID like the kid from Darman. What? Scrub Mimi for the fucking five gifteds. Captain uh, uh, for the sub. Larry for the five gifteds. Wakanda Nara for the sub. Renz for the five gifteds. Candy for the sub. Kilosa for the three inch biddies. Xlove, Nick, Hepta for the sub. Xlove for the three inch biddies. Uh, you got me through a lot of shit. And I appreciate that. Dub, Noah, and Xlove for the fucking uh, subs. Or Xlove for the raid. All right. Red Stripe Jamaican beer. First Jamaican beer on the list. <sighs> Smells like a nice beer. Smells like a nice beer. Uh, or not smells. Taste. Since 1928, fairly new, Red Stripe has embodied the spirit, rhythm, and pulse of Jamaica and its people. Brewed and bottled by Desnos and Jadiz Limited, Kingston, Jamaica. Ah, nah, that shit's good. It's different, right? Like, when you have, when you have a lot of American beers, like, if you're drinking, if you're drinking Bud Light, Miller Light, Miller High Life, which is pretty good, that's why it's in the top, uh, the top five, um, Michelob Ultra, even Yingling, like, they all kind of have the same vibe, and then when you go to the foreign beers, they taste a lot different. Right, and that's why some of the foreign beers, like these three, are trash, uh, in my opinion. But this one's actually pretty fucking good. Stella on top, yeah, I, I knew, I knew a motherfucker would say that shit. Yeah, Stella ain't that good, buddy. Give it up, give it up. Your beer sucks. Hold up, I gotta change the fucking song. Yeah, there we go. Do I cleanse your palate? I should. Wait, I have a water here. Oh, uh, is that better than a margarita, though? Is that better than the Cayman Jack? It's definitely better than the Stella. I don't know if it's better than the Cayman. I'm also, like, chat, am I... Is it biased for me to have the memories of, like, the fun trip I was on? Like, I feel like that's kind of fucked... For me to be like, okay, I'm having fond memories of the trip when I drank this. And so I think that's kind of swaying my opinion, right? Because I do enjoy, I enjoy. How the fuck? How the fuck? Did that bottle cap end up under... Dude, I was sitting on it. I was sitting on the bottle cap. It started stabbing me. 
what the fuck, bro? <laughs> it's been two hours? Bro, this is about to be a three hour stream. I thought I was gonna be done this bitch in an hour and a half. Oh my God. It's your opinion on the best beer, so it's not biased. Yeah, but I mean, it's still biased for me to say the beer's better because of the memories I had with it. Because, I mean, it was a fun, it was one of the best trips I've ever been on. Jamaica was really fun. Jamaica's like a dope country. Um, and Red Stripe, Red Stripe was there. But I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's better than the Cayman Jack. Because the Cayman Jack just tastes really good. It tastes so good. It's not better. It's good. It's like almost there, but it's not. I'd still rate the Red Stripe like an eight though. Like it's, it's like a really good beer. I would say I would order it more if they had it at like bars. All right. Now I don't, I think this might be the only regional beer or regional white alcohol that I bought, but um, I'm gonna review it anyway because it's a really cool idea. It's called Not Your Father's Root Beer. Do y'all know this? Yes or no? Uh, gotta bring out the... Gotta bring out the flip-flop. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. We're getting three uses out of this flip-flop today. Oh my god. This is fucking amazing. It's fucking amazing that I'm getting to use this thing. I'm getting the bang out of my fuck. Jesus Christ. Three fucking... Three, three bottle opens on the goddamn fucking flip-flop. There we go. I've heard of this, yes. I don't know if it's regional, but it's basically, it's a, a spiked root beer alcohol. It's 6%, 5.9%, 12 fluid ounces, not your father's root beer. Uh, it's 40 grams of sugar. I actually looked this up because one of my friends drinks these. 44 grams of sugar or something like that per bottle, per 12 ounce bottle. Uh, so it's equivalent to uh, drinking an actual like mug root beer. Dude, it's so good. It's so good. Dude, it's drinking. It's drinking root beer. It's drinking root beer. It's so unhealthy for you, right? Because this is literally alcohol matched with a root beer. Like imagine just pouring, like if they poured alcohol into a root beer. That's what they did. I don't taste the alcohol. It's just fucking root beer. Oh my God. It's so good, dude. It's just fucking root beer. I have the urge to drink all of this, but I'm not going to. It's definitely, I, you know, I'm not even going to look at that shit, right? Because these are trash, right? For, if I'm saying it's so good, it's automatically not in the bottom five. <sighs> Dude, I feel like it has to be top five, but I don't know. I don't know where. I think it's worse than the beatbox. I would rather have the beatbox, right? Because the beatbox is higher percentage and I would only need to really drink like one of these. It might be around the Twee area. Imagine a root beer float with it. Bro, you put this shit in ice cream. Well, then you might you might have like cardiac arrest, right? From too much sugar. Like that's crazy. Like I used to not think about that when I was fucking 12, 13, 14, 15. Now I'm 21. In the summer, do y'all ever get ice cream? Like, you go to an ice cream shop and you got uh, you just get, like, uh, a fucking large chocolate sundae. Dude, you're eating, like, 140 grams of sugar. And people don't think about that. And I used to never think about it. But now, when I go to, like, an ice cream fucking stand and I get, like, a large chocolate sundae, I'm sitting there like, wow. This is, like, four times the daily recommended amount of sugar in one sitting like in one sitting like i'm just let me live dude you can do whatever the fuck you want with your life you can eat however money however much sugar you want right but i'm sitting there like yeah that shit's like i i get conscious about that like wow so well i mean it's just unhealthy like i used to eat i used to eat four scoops of ice cream every day when i was in high school <sighs> when i was in high school freshman to senior year every day no lie every day Dutch, a uh, Dutch chocolate ice cream with chocolate syrup and four cherries every day at the end of the day. And then I look back at it and I'm like, wow, 
Like, I was eating literally 100 grams of sugar, like, just sitting there. And just the amount of saturated fat, like, that shit's just, like, bro, that's what, like, gives people diabetes. Like, I, like, I mean, if you're in a healthy, like, physical state and you eat healthy outside of that, it's not really that big of a deal. But, like, if that's how you eat, that's just unsafe. This shit is so good. It's better. Oh, dude, now I have to compare the Cayman. No, because I really don't want to knock out the Cayman Jack. Oh, but the Miller, the Miller High Life is really good. Dude, is the Miller High... Yo, chat, am I allowed to change my decisions on, on what can get knocked out? Yes or no? Am I allowed to, am I allowed to just start fucking shit up? Because right now, the in my exact mind state, this came in Jack is better than the fucking tweet. Fuck this dumbass tweet. This shit tastes terrible. Dude, I said, I said when I started getting tipsy, everything was going to start changing. And I'm going to start thinking that some things are better than others. Oh, fuck. Now, now I have a fucking, now I have a goddamn conundrum here. I have four drinks and I only can keep three of them. Miller's gonna stay. I think Miller stays exactly where it is. So I need something here and something here. I'm gonna put the root beer here, okay? Because I think the root beer deserves that spot. Now, do we do Cayman Jack or Twee Half and Half for the fifth best alcohol? It's just, it's, oh my God, it's so good. It's so good. And I'm just sitting there like, dude, I already have a half and half in number one. Like the Arnold Palmer spiked is so fucking good. Yeah, like it, it's so good. And I'm sitting there and that's number one. This doesn't even really compare to that. And so if I'm already ranking this way higher than, than the fucking half and half by Twee, then I think I should do this. So right now we have, Arnold Palmer half and half, beatbox fruit punch, not your father's root beer. So root beer spiked. Miller High Life, Cayman Jack. Uh, Stella is the worst, or, or fifth worst. Warhead Cherry, Heineken Fosters, and then the Guinness. El Presidente! Oh, shit. Oh, shit, a four times? Oh, uh, four times, bro. I might as well buy stock into this fucking company. I might as well buy stock into this fucking company. That shit is fucking just... It's just crank... I lost the bottle cap. It's just cranking out fucking sales, dude. Holy shit. Holy shit, I've used this four times? I might as well... I might as well buy, buy fucking 45 of those flip-flops. Just in case the bottle opener breaks on the bottom. Isn't that kind of gross, though? Like, I've been thinking about that. Like, I'm walking around in these and the bottle opener's on the fucking foot. Like, what if I step in mud or some shit and then I fucking open a beer? I mean, you're opening the beer bottle. Uh, so, like, the cap itself, which it's touching, you're not really using? I don't really know. An immunity boost? That's what I always say. How long does something have to be on the floor for you guys not to eat it? The five second rule is so cap. If something's on the floor for like 20 seconds, I'd still probably eat it. It depends where it lands, right? That's what matters. If something lands on the fucking like tiled floor and it's not covered in like dirt or dog hair, dude, if it's there for like 20 seconds, I'll eat it or a minute, right? But like if it lands on carpet, ugh. Like, if it lands on carpet, I probably I probably wouldn't eat it. Just because it's going to get covered in, like, especially my dog. Like, it's going to get covered in dog hair, and then it's just fucking gross. Anyways, El's Presidente. These were actually a pain in the ass to find. Um, I don't know why. Because uh, I always assumed El Presidente was, like, a popular beer. We have four more after this, by the way. Uh, I always assumed El Presidente was, like, a really popular beer. So the fact that I had to go to like three separate liquor stores to find El Presidente was kind of annoying. 
But let's give it a go. Happy Father's Day. It's not Father's Day. This reminds me of Heineken. It's weird, though, because it's like Heineken and El Presidente have very similar tastes. But where Heineken went wrong, El Presidente fixed it. It's like that weird battery acid taste is kind of pleasant. And I don't know if this is me being somewhat drunk or... Or... <laughs> dude, I don't know. I just feel like the El Presidente tastes better. Uh, and the smells better, too. Battery acid, yeah. No, Heineken, Heineken has like a repulsing aftertaste. El Presidente doesn't. Let me compare it to the Cayman. No, the Cayman's still better. Cayman's better. El Presidente's actually pretty fucking good. Like, I would rate this like a high seven, maybe an eight. Like, I actually enjoyed that beer. But it's still not better than the Cayman. It's obviously better than the Stella. Did I already do a Truly? I have another fucking Truly here. I did a Cherry... Okay, should we just rate this one anyway? I said I wasn't going to do multiple flavors, but I have a Truly Wild Berry, and now I have a Truly Fruit Punch. So maybe the Fruit Punch will actually do better because I have the Beatbox Fruit Punch up here. So I feel like we have to... I feel like we have to rate this one. Uh, I feel like we have to rate this one. Somebody redeemed headset that. I can't see it. How's it looking? Oh, I see it. Damn, dude. Is it looking like a fucking divot? It's looking bad. W dent. Okay. Dude, I gotta piss again. I'm about to take three pisses in fucking a two and a half hour stream. Dude, this is the longest... This is the longest ranking video I've ever done. How long was my cookie and milk tier list? Bro, I'm about to do the breathalyzer real quick. The cookie and milk tier list I did in the winter was a while. Because I had to rate 16 different cookies and 16 different milks. I feel like I'm just taking a while here. And I have to fucking reevaluate each of them when I move them around. Because those were tier lists and this is more of a ranking. We gotta wait 20 seconds, dude. That's so annoying. But I'll do, we have the true, in the, in the, in the, like, queue, we have Truly, Dos Equis, High Noon, oh, and then we have Happy Dad. Oh, God! Oh, God! Chad, guess what it was? I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm going to do it one more time. Guess what it was? Show us. I'll show you after. I'll show you after this time because I already turned it off. You have to turn it off to redo it. 1.2? No, dude. It's like 0. 0.1. Dude, because I'm still... I'm drinking a... Dude, 1.2, you have to take... You have to, you have to drink hard alcohol. Or like multiple of these. Like realistically, I'm like five... Five... Five beers in. In like two hours. Like I, that's the equivalent. I'm like five drinks in. If you think about it, it's like all after drinking all these, I'm basically like I had like five high noons. Just imagine me drinking like five high noons in two hours. It said one point, it said 1.3 the first time. Now it says 0.088. I feel like 0.088 isn't that high, though. I don't know. Truly, truly fruit punch. I'm spilling it on myself. Ugh. Is that better than this, truly? Oh, it was 1.3? No, it was 0.13. 0.13, not 1.3. This is better, but this tastes really artificial. 
Like this, like this fruit punch, even though it's higher percent, it like, it, this is a way higher percentage than this. Like this is almost three times as much alcohol as this. Like three of these is one of these. And this fruit punch tastes like natural. Whereas this fruit punch, it tastes like it's just like a bunch of sucralose or like some weird artificial sugar. Like I don't really like it. It's definitely not it's definitely not as bad as Stella though. Oh my god, dude, I have to pee again. I have to pee again. I'm so sorry, chat. I'm so sorry. Y'all y'all would have had to expect this to happen though. Seeing that I I fucking pee four four times in a regular stream. Now you got me drinking fucking beers and shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm moving the table. Oh my god, I'm moving the table. Oh my god, I'm moving the table. Oh my god, Joe. Be like a fucking be like a spy. Be be very Oh my god. Okay, count me down 30 seconds. Shit. I feel like I gotta step in the cooler here. I gotta step in the ice. Oh, Jesus Christ. How am I gonna get in this fucking chair? I'm maneuvering. I'm maneuvering. Oh, don't knock anything over. Oh, doc oh don't knock anything over. Please. Okay. Oh. Oh. We're back. All right, where did we leave off? Uh, oh, I said the truly fruit punch was too artificial, which it is, but it's not, it's not bad. I would still drink it, but it's too artificial. I don't know why I added that. If I already had the other truly, I think I forgot I had a truly. All right. Next one. Next alcohol. Dos Equis! Got to use the flip flop again. Where's the fucking flip flop? Here we go. Fifth use. Fifth use of the goddamn flip-flop here. Oh my god, who would have guessed it? Jesus. Dos Equis is trying to struggle here. Not trying to have me open it. I've never had a Dos Equis. Um, A lager since 1892. Crafted in Mexico. Doesn't say what percentage. Uh, I, it, this was also a hard one to find. Dos Equis and El Presidente were not easy to, to get. I had to buy six packs of them and they didn't have tall boys. And I had to go to three different liquor stores to find these. Dos Equis. Wow, that might be the alcohol talking to me. Is that the alcohol talking to me? I hope that's not the alcohol talking to me. Wow, that's really fucking good. Hold up. What do I compare this to? The Miller High Life. Because that's in my top. so good dude i don't know though hold up now i gotta compare these now i might have to move the cayman jack in front of the miller high life dude but the miller high life yo chat i'll let you guys choose which one of these stays in the top five stays in the top five the other gets knocked out dosakis is number four i really like dosakis Wow, I really like Dos Equis. I've never had that shit either. It's just different. It tastes really good. Mm 
Wow. I'm wondering why I like that. I don't really know. Cayman Jack stays. Okay, Cayman Jack stays. Miller High Life Sal. I think this is a pretty diverse uh, top five, actually, now. Starting out, it was just all, like, twisted tees and shit. But now we got half and half Arnold Palmer, Beatbox, Root Beer, um, Dos Equis, Cayman Jack, then bottom five, Stella, Warhead, Heineken, uh, Fosters, and that... Oh my god, it's so bad. It's so bad. Like, dude, chat, when I tell you it's unbearable, like, that shit is fucking disgusting. Never buy that beer. Dude, I don't know if it's just because it's the extra stout. What does extra stout mean? Just more alcohol? Dude, it's like... Dude, it's like sitting in my mouth. I need to drink a Cayman Jack. Dude, it's like sitting in my mouth. It's so fucking gross. It's so fucking gross. It's disgusting. I hate it. I fucking hate it. <sighs> oh, okay. Came in one. There we go. Hi, noon. Last two. Hi, noon. This is, a, this is the second to last one. We got a high noon here. We got high noon pear flavored. Uh, I just picked a random high noon that I have. I drink high noons all the time. Um, high noon is... When I drink on stream, the only drinks I've ever had on stream outside of this tier list was a High Noon and then a Jack Daniels shot. Um, so High Noon is something that I actually really like, right? Uh, I think it's a high quality alcohol. It's vodka instead of uh, grain alcohol, like White Claw uh, and Truly. So it's a bit higher quality. Uh, they're more expensive, uh, but it's basically a vodka soda. Uh, and this one is Pear. Right, and it's actually pretty good. Do Drunk Val. Dude, how the fuck? Chat, you want me to do Drunk Val? Do you see the table that's in front of me? With all these alcohols on it. How the fuck am I going to do Drunk Val? After this stream, I'm... After these alcohols and I'm done fucking doing this, I'm gone, chat. I'm done stream. Uh, if I could somehow teleport this out, I would play Val. But fuck that shit. Because this is going to take me an hour to fucking, uh, settle. Anyways. High Noon Sunsips Pear Flavor. Uh, I'm going to be kind of biased towards this because I really like High Noons, but... It's really good. High Noons are, like... High Noons are clean. They have a lot of juice in them. Like, just genuine juice. They don't have a lot of sugar. Uh, they're very drinkable. Um... I'm glad I saved this to the last two because I feel like this is actually a good competitor for these. It's better than the Cayman. It's better than the Cayman, so the Cayman's gone. Wow. Rip in the chat for Cayman. Cayman's been here for a while. Struggling to stay in, but it was. It's better than the Cayman. Ooh, it's not better. It's better than the Dos Equis. <laughs> Is it better than the Not Your Fathers? No. It's right there. That works. Dos Equis, Dos Equis High Noon, Not Your Fathers, Repair, Beatbox, Arnold Palmer. Last one, chat. Last one. Give me a round of applause. Let's clap it up. Let's clap it up that I got through this shit. Oh my god. I'm sure to get nervous halfway through. Didn't think I'd be able to fucking conquer this goddamn challenge. Halfway through, I was getting a little fucking nervous. I was like, Jesus Christ, I got 18 more. I got a fucking rate. When, we, when I finished the first goddamn cooler, I had to go to the next one. I was like, holy shit, I might not be able to do this. But I fucking did. And I'm happy I did. Anyways. Happy Dad. Now, I already have a grudge with Happy Dad. Because... I had to buy a 24 pack of these motherfuckers to even be able to rate them. They didn't have a 12 pack. They didn't have a, what they might, I don't know if it was a 12. It was a 12 or a 24. I think it was a 12. I had to buy a 12 pack of these motherfuckers to even be able to rate them. I couldn't buy a six. I couldn't buy a tall boy. I had to buy fucking $18 of these bitches to be able to fucking 
to be able to fucking get him. And we're raiding Wild Cherry. The only fucking flavor of High Noon I'm raiding. Fuck that shit. This was made by Nelk. Everybody knows Nelk. Uh, the fucking full send, guys. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. I'm already kind of pissed. So I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and revert that anger right now to see if I could maybe actually rate this honestly. Uh, but right now I'm kind of mad at them. Let's give it a shot. 100 calories per can. 12 ounces wild cherry. Shotgun it. Fuck that shit. I'll do a big gulp though. Doesn't taste like cherry. <sighs> oh my god. Dude, I don't know if I like it or not. Chat, do I like it? I don't want to tell my chat. I don't want to ask my chat if I like it. It's weird. It's like the cherry doesn't taste normal. It's like clearly artificial, but I don't know if I like the artificialness. Of the other high noon, or not high noon, the other fucking Happy Dad flavors, I'm not really a fan of. I've had the other flavors. I think I've had watermelon, if that was one of the flavors. I didn't really like that. This one's not that bad. It has electrolytes in it, too, apparently. So maybe that keeps you fucking hydrated. Ingredients. Carbonated water, alcohol, natural flavor, cane sugar, citric acid, sodium citrate, and tripotassium, uh, tripotassium citrate. It's not bad. I don't think it's either of them, though. Happy Dad is, like... I feel like Happy Dad gets hype because of Nelk. Uh, and just, like, their branding. And they're all cool. And it's, like, dope to drink Nelk uh, alcohol. So people buy Happy Dads. But Happy Dad as a whole is, like, kind of okay. Like... Like, I'm going to rate it like a 7 out of 10. It's not bad. But we're going to keep it there. Is this a good list, chat? Is this a good list? Let me check. Hold up. Let me check that I'm not missing alcohol. No alcohol there. Jesus Christ. No alcohol there. Okay. We fucking did all of them. How many did we do? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38. 38 different alcohols. We'll do one last breathalyzer. Let me try the Happy Dad one more time. Dude, it just smells weird. It just smells weird. It smells weird and the taste isn't really like... It's, it's not natural cherry at all. Like the High Noon tastes like natural. Like the High Noon is very smooth. Whereas the, uh, the fucking Happy Dad seems more like it's fucking trying to be a high noon. Dude, why did it fucking go? It went 20 and then it went back down to 20 again. Oh, Jesus Christ. You're slurring your words a little bit? Yeah, no shit, pal. I just fucking taste tested 38 different alcohols. I think you would do the goddamn same. Do you have moonshine? I don't have moonshine, bro. What the fuck? <sighs> ah. Hold up. It's ready. Point one two five. I'm gonna do it again because I did it late. I'll do it one more time. I feel like that's not that much. Is point one two five that much, chat? I mean, like that's over the legal limit. But like, yeah, obviously I want to drive. <gasps> but I'm saying like, y'all know the reacts that we've watched where a motherfucker, yo, that's putting. The oh, I'm taking my headset off for this. That's putting this into perspective. Chat, hold up. Let me do this real quick. I'm at 0.125. Hold up. Dude, it makes making me do another way. Oh my God. I'm at 0.125. Dude, the fucking, the DUI videos we watch, motherfuckers are at two, are at 0.25. And 
out says point oh nine eight. Yeah, like brother, you're fucking tapping. Anyways. Anyways. It said point one two five and then point point nine point oh nine eight. Anyway. Dude, you have to blow less hard. Oh, you think that's it? Oh, don't blow as hard. Oh, okay. I'll try that. Anyways. Y'all know the videos we watch where motherfuckers get uh, pulled over for a DUI and they're at 0.28. Like, what in your mind thinks you could operate a vehicle? Like, dude, I could not drive a car right now. I would never drive a car right now. That would be fucking just dis disastrous. If I, if you put me in my car right now, I would fucking hit a van. I would hit a van. I would hit a telephone pole. I would fucking run into something. There's no way. There's no way. I don't know what a part of their body is like I could drive right now. Well, apparently I could drive right now because I'm at zero zero chat. Apparently I'm clean. Stupid ass breathalyzer. That shit don't even fucking work. That shit don't even fucking work, bro. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Zero? Zero. Zero. I'm apparently, I'm perfectly fine. Apparently, I'm perfectly fine. After drinking 38 different alcohols. Anyways, top five. At the end of the day, Arnold Palmer half and half. Beatbox fruit punch, not your father's root pair. High noon pear, which, which is just high noon in general. And Dos Equis. Hold up. Let me do it one more time. It's making me do another 20, 20 second wait. Jesus Christ. Bottom five, Stella Artois. Fuck that shit. That is the worst beer ever. I feel like I kind of want to move that down, but I'm just kind of being biased towards it. Warheads Black Cherry, Heineken, Fosters, and Guinness. Point one two five, Dude, it just does the same... Does the same thing every time. All right. We're going to call it there, chat. That was a goddamn W stream. For the Chicken Little, for the motherfuckers that saw... Oh, it's literally blocked. Chicken Little, the worst fucking alcohols. Stella, Warheads, Black Cherry, Heineken, Foster's, Guinness, Extra Stout. Best alcohols, Mythbusters Collection 1. Dump in the chat for that shit. Arnold Palmer, half and half. Beatbox Fruit Punch. What is this? Not your father's root beer. High Noon Pear, which is just High Noon. And then Dos Equis. W fucking stream. I'm glad I did this stream for you guys. I'm kind of upset that I had to buy a bunch of tall boys for this because half of these are unfinished and I don't really know what I'm going to do with them. But I'm going to figure that out. And I appreciate everybody that came to the stream. Who do we fucking raid now? W goddamn stream. We had a great chat, great audience today. A lot of people came out to the goddamn stream for the tier list. Pretty long tier list as well, if I might say. Uh, longer than I would assume it uh, would have been. I assume this would have been an hour and a half stream. It's almost three hours. We can rate JoJo. I'm pretty sure he's doing the la uh, the second poker sponsored stream uh, without me. Dude, I gotta fucking... I gotta go check. Is JoJo doing the goddamn sp uh, poker sponsored stream? Oh, he's playing poker. Let's go tune in. Let's go tune in to JoJo. Yo, should we hop, a call hop on a call with this motherfucker? Dude, you gotta play. Yeah. So like for me, like one thing for me right now is like that's kind of why like I really fuck with um, I really fuck with um, I, like the, I don't know if I should hop on a call like with him with the sponsor because like bro, I'm drunk. I be, I be vibing. I like I really be vibing. Wait 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 wait. wait. Yo, he down terrible. He all in again? Yo, bro. When yeah. I did the poker yeah. sponsor yeah. stream, I was at two hundred and eighty thousand creds. This motherfucker's at 19k, bro. 19k? Well, Chad, congratulations, bro. They took the bounties away. Call Joe, bitch. Hey, yo, watch your fucking mouth. Push before I beat your ass. <laughs> the fuck wrong with you? Watch your fucking mouth. <laughs> oh, you can read. Should yeah, I call course. him? Oh, you just don't have a bounty on you anymore. Yeah. Well, actually, I think I do still have bounties on my head. I think it's actually more than three. Let me actually ask them. Because uh, we lost three times, and Joe was saying that we have, like, six bounties on our head. It's like six bands. Shit. I unplugged my headset. Let me call JoJo real quick. Fuck. Oh. Should I call JoJo chat? 
before I end. Where the Ray? fuck is bro, the goddamn bro, piece, dude? No, I don't think that that was the last bounty, but I'm asking him right now. I ever took a dab? Nah, bro. For me, I either smoke joints, blunts, or I just do edibles. But right now, I like, 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 I'm an edible girly right now. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I'm an edible girly. Yo, he ain't hey, answer hey, though. Chat, hey, chat, shout out my bad bitches who do edibles. Uh, uh, we're so crazy. <laughs> we so crazy. He ain't answer my call, bitch. He ain't answer my call, bitch. Yo, JoJo dubbed me. That's crazy. Nah, that's crazy. All right, we're gonna rate yeah, him. Bro, Joe. Yo, 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 yo. Joe Bart really did. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm watching Joe Bart stream. Joe Bart really did a taste testing call. of every alcohol without me, bro. I'm calling his ass. Wait, answer Joe's call? What do you mean answer Joe's call? Oh, he is. He did call me. Bro, I called you on Discord, bitch. Call. Answer. Yo, what's Yo. good, bro? What's good, bro? Yo, why you sound so far away? <laughs> Yo. Yo. Oh, are you hooked up to... Uh, Yo, hold on, I gotta change so my mic in part. <laughs> Let me change my mic in no. Let me change my mic in part. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna change my mic in part. No, okay. All right, is it good now? Is it good now? Yeah, 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 yeah. You sound good now. Yeah, bro. I just finished rating 38 different alcohols. <laughs> Joe, why did... Joe, Joe, Joe. Why did you not tell me you were doing that? Like, I wouldn't have flown out to New Jersey and done it with you. Bro, I should have. Yo, if you want to oh. do it again this summer, I'll pop out and I'll do it okay. with you. Okay, look, look. How about this? How about this? Look, look. Okay, so you just did beers, right? Like, like I did all like light alcohols. I did, you did third, who? I did all light alcohols. So beers. You did all white alcohols? That's light, crazy. Light, in this light, 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 light. Oh, light. Li okay, light. Okay, okay. I yeah. thought you said white. I was like, Joe, what are we nah, saying? Nah, what are we nah, saying nah, here? Nah. Okay. Okay, light. I thought you said why, and I was like, brother, what? I'm leaving this call now. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Sorry. Okay, look, look. So, so look, look, look. Here. Wait, that just win? Oh my gosh, I just fucking won a, a crazy hand. Anyways, look, bro. Look, 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 I'm gonna say it like this, right? When you come out here, okay, we can like go half on a ticket or something. She can stay here for a few days, stream here, whatever you want to do, right? But look, do you want to do uh, taste testing hard liquor or wine? Because I feel like I done... feel like wine makes more sense because if we did hard liquor, bro, that's gonna be like a fucking thousand dollar investment for the stream. Fuck Just, yeah, bro. Yeah, because you're gonna and have to be, be buying so handles. Fun. You're gonna have to be buying handles. That'd be so fun though, yeah. wouldn't it? Well, I like, feel bro, like we could do like a bro, we could do like a all all light liquor stream. That's crazy. I feel like that would be fun, like funnier though, if we did if we did wine. And then okay. like got all fancy in like suits, yeah. And like and did like Ooh. taste testing. Okay. Now the question: How many bottles of wine it take for you to get like drunk? Like if I'm if I'm drinking what like a glass of wine? No bottles. Like how many bottles of wine does it take? Bitch, I've never been wine drunk in my life. I've drank I've drank like two You're glasses so of wine. He just said, he just said, bitch, I have never been wine drunk in my life. Because I haven't. <laughs> bottles of wine? You're measuring how drunk you get in bottles, not glasses? Yeah, because I drink bottles, bro. It takes me about four bottles to get uh, drunk. Four bottles? Bro, I don't believe you. Bro, you can ask any of my fucking friends. Four bro. Bottles, bottles of bro. like big, like, bro, like a regular bro, size wine bottle. Yeah, bro, you can ask my chat. They've seen me take bottles to the head. Bro, there's been times where I drink three bottles of wine and liquor. It's fun. I be having a great time when I stream sometimes when I really bro, drink. Bro, that's nuts. But look, 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 I haven't drank like that in, like, months. Now, now I just take shots. But, like, I haven't really, like, yesterday I took, like, seven shots on stream. I wasn't even drunk. Like, I've built up too high of a tolerance. That's why I don't really, uh drink too much anymore you know what we gotta do i'll go to you we'll do like a wine t like like a wine ranking okay and then you come to me and we'll because yeah. weed's legal in new jersey and we'll do like a okay. weed we'll do like a weed taste test and we'll fucking we'll like rip like a bowl of like yo 
15 different No, bro, bro. We should, we should do like an edible taste test and like- Edible taste like, test? Bro, they're yeah. all going to taste like fucking gummies. And then well, 45 minutes the later, we're going to be done. First of all, first of all, how do you know? That's why we should taste test the shit. So you don't know how it's going to taste. Because all, I've had taste. edibles. They all taste good. I've never had an edible that tasted bad. Don't allow me. First of all, let me take some right now, okay? Let me take some right now. Some edibles taste fucking delicious. I had these uh, Sour Belt edibles that tasted nothing like weed at all. And they was delicious. And they got me high as fuck. You don't know. Yeah. But I mean, like, then then you're getting to the risky, like, Kai Sinat territory where he fell asleep first on of all, Joe, and got first, of Joe, we, first of all, Joe, we are, we are very responsible men. If, oh, yeah. If, we would end stream. I don't know why I kind of end stream to this day. I still don't know why, but we, we would end stream. If I ever had the feeling that I was like, damn, I'm too high, I'm going to just log off, bro. I bro, might not even really? say anything. I might just end stream. Say my fucking bro. PC crashed. Like, bro, <laughs> there's it out on stream, bro. <laughs> I could Look, never do that. There's been times. There's been times, okay? Where, uh, uh, like, bro, okay, so the most drunk I ever got on stream, right? I drank a whole bottle of Ciroc. Like, I drank a whole bottle of Ciroc. I was fucking plastered. And, bro, like, I don't even, like, I pretty much blacked out. I don't even remember my stream. You blacked but, but, out on stream. <laughs> Why are we judging me, right? Like when I'm just trying to like fucking have a bro, moment with you. I'm like, okay. I'm like, dude, you blacked out on stream. Like, okay, yeah. You like, don't remember the stream? You have seventy beers in front of you. Like, let's be serious. So literally, well, fair, so he, fair, fair. Okay, so he, so here's what happened, right? So I pretty much blacked out but then but then but then what what happened was is though i watched the stream back and my drunk ass ordered chicken nuggets i was quiet for 15 minutes eating chicken nuggets and then i said i'm tired and ended stream <laughs> so bro even 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 my black even my black out self was like i ain't gonna lie y'all good night i'm kind of done bro head. yeah fuck <laughs> this shit, sleep, bro. bro i had like 10 chicken nuggets and i was like yeah good night y'all <laughs> this is why I tap out, and then boom, I went to sleep. Nah, that is fucking crazy, bro. Nah, no, I would definitely lit. be down, bro, because like this summer, I'm 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 kind of free. Like, hey, bro, I'm out. just kind of tired. I'm just kind of tired of you telling me that you want to like get high with me or and, 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 and like get drunk with me. Bro, never I said I would. Bro, I just oh, here it I, you comes. know, I here think. Comes. You, okay, yeah, here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. I, you here know, comes. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real. I think you could out drink me twelve times, bro. Yeah, Keeping it real, duh, I think you can out drink me two all times. <laughs> I don't think you can match me like like joint like if we if we went matches for like carts or joints, you would be done. Like this dude, this like I'm not a like, pothead, bro. but bro, I know you bro. I saw you smoke like bro. half a joint, bruh. Okay, first of all, it was a whole joint. And it was a and it was a gram what? in that joint, so let's relax. It was a and gram? Second, and was it a king yes. blunt? I don't fucking know, Joe. I just bought it because I wanted to get high. Now look, hold on, look, look. Let me say this to you, right? Now, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but saying we could go toe to toe and I'll fucking like, like, yo, like, let's go toe to toe in carts. That's like the widest sentence. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that too. No. I knew you were going to no, no, say no, no. that was the widest thing no, no, no. I've ever let's, said. Let's, I knew you were going to say that. Let's talk about no, 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 no. Let me, let me, let's no, 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 no. I'm going to tell a story. I'm going to tell a story now. I'm going to tell a story. I'm going to tell you. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up. This motherfucker messages me on his trip. A two-minute video of him grilling me that I said the South Park Eric Cartman version of Lady Gaga's poker face is better than Lady Gaga's poker face. And it is, right? No, like, it, it is. is yes, it is. Listen to them both, bro. You haven't no. listened to Lady Gaga's poker face in a fucking okay. minute. It's not that good. Okay, look, look. I'm I, okay. Look, look, I'm gonna when this ad is done in 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 30 minutes. Listen to Lady to Gaga and Eric Cartman's, bro. It's just I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna react to both of them. Oh, uh, okay. Now tell you, look. Here here's what I told Joe. I said I said white people are hardwired to just enjoy South Park for no reason. Okay, that's what I said. But like, do because, you not like because, South Park? Right here it comes. Yep, go ahead. No, I'm just asking. You don't like... Oh, sorry. You don't like... Oh, wait, wait. Do I like South Park? Yeah. Man, fuck no. That shit is so whack. Bro, I will you say... Me? I will say some of the episodes... Bro, my favorite episode, though, is the World of Warcraft episode. 
Of course it is, bro. That's like the whitest game. Bro, what? <laughs> what? Bro, you, bro. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh my god. The World of Warcraft episode, bro. He fuck. They don't get up for like twenty minutes. Or not twenty minutes. Like twenty hours, bro. He takes a shit in a fucking bedpan. That is hilarious, bro. Takes his shit in a bedpan. Yeah, Look, they bro, gain like I, they gain like a hundred pounds because they never get out of their chair because they just want to beat one guy. Yeah, Joe, bro, you 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 are you are way too funny to like South Park. Uh, like I just bro. I just want to make that known. No, like, I'm not so saying much it's the best That's... show, dude. Okay, what's yep. like your favorite you cartoon show, show? Not anime, not anime. What's your favorite cartoon? Yeah, no, no, no. Show? I don't even like anime that much. Literally, so my bro said my, he don't like favorite... anime. Bro said he don't like anime. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Whoa, oh first god. of all, brother. First of all, brother. First of all, brother. I said I don't like it that much. Okay, I'm watching One Piece right now, and I'm really enjoying One Piece. So first uh, of all, you know, thank you very much. I'm gonna keep it real. I've been watching One Piece, bro. It's too slow rolling, dude. Oh my god, I hate when people say that. Watch Mob Psycho. Watch Mob fucking... Psycho. Watch Mob Psycho. It's a better it's, anime. You gonna better watch Mob Psycho until you watch. One Piece, dude. I watched One Piece. Piece. Is about to, he's, about about the he's about the journey. He's about the journey. They do a flashback oh every fucking ten minutes. It's I don't care journey, about what fucking Luffy fucking was journey, like Joe. when he was four. It's the journey. It's the fucking journey. It's the fucking journey. It's the journey, Rick. It's the journey. Bro, Zeus, he said Family point. Guy's better than South Park. That's First no, all, that's a shitty take. Family Guy's a shit show. You know what's better than South Park, though? I, I swear to God. F, F is for family. That Bill Burr uh, uh, a cartoon is way better. I haven't seen better. that. I haven't seen that. So Bro, I can't F is for tape. family is so good. And also, second one better than South Park is Bob's Burgers. One I do love Bob's funniest, Burgers. I will agree. I will agree. Bob's Burgers is fine. One shows ever, bro. Swear good, to God. Good show. Good show. Good show. Great show. Amazing Great show. show. Yeah, very, very good show. The I, they look weird though. The cartoons they make them look weird. Yeah, but bro, the yeah. voice acting is so yeah. good, bro. It like is. they like they really kill that shit. It, like, bro. So so again, South Park. Like again, and y'all. Like when I say when I say like a show is super white, because people are coming over here saying I'm trying to be racist. No, no, no. It's like that's not a bad thing. Like like it's not like like that show knows its target audience. And again, people of color can enjoy that show for sure. But I'm just saying like. Like to to scroll on TikTok, right, and then see a video, a video of Joe Bart's girlfriend pointing the camera at him, and he's singing along to Eric Cartman South fucking fucking poker face. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I had to send him a voice message and say, brother. He and first of all, Joe, it was a positive one because I said I hey, wasn't man, upset. Doing... I'm not. No, I was. I thought it was funny. Yeah, no, he did. He said, "Hello, yo," but. Look, bro, it, it was a positive voice message because I said, hey, man, I'm so See, glad that you, you are pushing. You said sticking to the culture. <laughs> yes, I said, I said, I said, Joe, I'm so glad that you're sticking to your culture, bro. That's fucking fire. Because it is, bro. Like, that's so fire, bro. Like, congrats. That's heat. That's heat, bro. And also, I've had, like, four shots. So I'm a little, you know, I'm a little tipsy, a little. I see you're doing pretty well in poker right now. You're kind of up. You were you yeah, were down new? when what's I new, when I tuned in. I went to the most I went like I know this is your second stream, so we we did our separate. I was mm -hmm. at the most I went to was 280, and then I went in all in on a pair of jacks and like lost it all. But I was at like I was at like 31st place or some shit. I was doing really good. Wow. Wow. <sighs> but then so I dropped right, back down. Do? I think I did. I think I did exactly three buy-ins. Right now, I did two. I did two buy-ins. I two. I did two rebuys. Yeah, bro, how many? Yeah, 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 yeah. How many bounties do I have on me though? You have three. Three oh, bounties, okay, so and ACR told me that they instantly pay out the bounty if they knock you out. Oh. If you're one of okay, the. Okay, so chat. That means that means real quick. That means chat. That I've lost four times. Yeah. So My now, fault, from now, if bounties you get knocked done. out, they don't get money. Okay. That's okay, good. It it's like fuck y'all for beating my ass like that. It's fucked up. All right. Um. I. But yeah, yo, so, bro, so, so like, so, so like, what you about to do? Like, like, you about to keep streaming? Oh no, I'm fucking ending right now. I'm about to raid you. <laughs> That's why I tuned into your stream, bro. I'm fucking done, dude. Because I gotta clean all this shit up. I got a table of fucking thirty-eight different alcohols. <laughs> I'm fucking done, actually. 
I'm bro, done. I can't even type right now. I got a fucking. Oh my god. I'm gonna yeah, bro. I'm, I'm, I've never been beer drunk. Like, what's that like? You've never been beer drunk? No, I've bro. Only, I've only been beer or hard alcohol drunk. Yo, bro. I've I'm never been wine drunk. There's... Like, I've had like two glasses of wine, but then I just get yeah. tired as fuck and I fall asleep. Yeah, see, there, there is no better. Now, nah, chat. Now, nah, both chats. Fact check me on this. There is no better drunk than a Casamigos drunk. I'm not gonna lie. No better drunk than a Casamigos drunk. I, I fucking promise. The best drunk I've ever had was from mm -hmm. beer. Best drunk I've ever had was from God. beer. The best high I've ever had from, was from a volcano. Bro, you fucking live the life of like a 55 year old trucker. Yeah, okay. <laughs> nah, no, nah, actually, no, it's from Irish Mules. Irish mules are really fucking Irish good, mules. I have an Irish mule. Bro. Irish ginger mules, beer. he it's says. It's ginger beer, Jameson, and fucking lime juice, dude. It's so good. It's God, so bro, good. like you, like bro, like you would kill it in the Midwest. Like if you've been on like, a comedy tour, you would like you would kill in Utah. I'm not gonna lie, you should definitely go there on a tour. All right, hold up. I'm about to raid you in like five seconds. <laughs> I see the raid, bro. bro. Wait, hold up. Let me. Let, I'll, I'll stay on call for a second. Hold up. Let me mute. Ah, uh, yeah, for sure. Yo, W stream chat. I'm about to fucking dip. Exclamation point Discord, join the Discord set videos for me to react to games for me to play. We're getting ready when he's just talking to me. I'm about to fucking. I'm, I just deafened myself. I'm about to fucking do reactions tomorrow at 2 p.m. EST. Set videos for me to react to games for me to play. I appreciate everybody that came out for this stream. Uh, this will be a YouTube video. Hopefully it gets monetized now. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, I'll catch you all later. Uh, we're going to raid. I'll be live tomorrow at 2 p.m. EST doing uh, reacts Monday for poker Tuesday. For Mario Kart and Mario Party. See y'all later. We're going to rate it 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm uploading on YouTube tomorrow. See y'all later.